and greetings, world. I am Resplendent Seraph, and uh, I started off this channel playing a bunch of Fallout, and then uh, post injury, started playing a bunch of BattleTech. Decided I'd take a little bit of a break from BattleTech this evening, this lovely Sunday evening, uh, from a beautiful and clear skied South Florida. You could probably even see a little bit of the sunset behind me, behind me, depending on how well the uh, webcam kind of picks it up here. My apologies for the uh, complication with getting things started. My feline co-host decided that just as I hit the start streaming button, that that was the moment she was going to wake up and meow for treats, extra food, some pets, and me to open the sliding glass doors to let her out on the patio to kill God only knows what out there. And since it's actually nice outside, I decided to just cave and open my windows so that my cat can be a hunter. <laughs> So anyway, without any hopefully further ado, we're going to get things started here. Uh, so like I said, today I decided to take a little bit of a break from Battletech because I got something uh, working, an old emulator. And if I only still had my console, we are going to be playing this. And if I had my console, I'd be playing the real thing. And hopefully, the yeah, that, that looks pretty clear other than a little bit of a, refl of a reflection. But um, yeah, unfortunately, the, there we go. That's probably a good a good glimpse of it. So yeah, I actually have the original Turbo Graphics game, good old circa 1990. Uh, that's when this actually came out. Now the Turbo Graphics console came out in August of 1989. A lot of people really didn't notice that because uh, something called the Genesis came out two weeks before. And that's uh, at least in North America, that's what uh, most people here paid attention to. The NES was the dominant console of the day. But yeah, I still got my my manual here. I don't think there's actually anything really in this. Care of your CD game disc and getting started. Starting the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, there really isn't all that much of a... Oh, look at that. Hurry, at all. You must help us. It actually does have like a pretty long um, introduction here. Uh, so that's actually pretty neat. I am not going to read that for everybody, but I might actually end up just typing this for the description of the... YouTube uh, episode when I post it up there. But uh, yeah, object of the game. Get ready for the ultimate TurboGrafx CD experience in this gamer skill action and adventure. I mean, I, I, it's actually a good game. I can't, I can't help but do my sarcastic voice with this, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, but it does explain basically what, what you're doing in Eastbook 1 and then Eastbook 2. Um, but I feel like the game is pretty self-explanatory. So... There is an emulator called Magic Engine, which I did download the demo for. Um, I just don't own an external CD-ROM drive. So, but with Magic Engine, I could, and I did test this, I actually did pop this in and it did play. So part of me was very tempted to just buy Magic Engine. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks, which um, which isn't really that big a deal. It's the only, But it's the only emulator that truly emulates the console and would allow you to actually put in the original TurboGrafx CD game and truly play it as, you know, and truly emulate the console and play the real game. But part of me was nervous to do that. Number one, I really didn't want to buy an optical drive uh, and I didn't really want to buy Magic Engine um, because this is a literal 30, you know, I mean, we got it in what, 1990. So you're talking, uh, I mean, we are talking what, 34 years. So part of me had some reservations of like, how well is that CD really going to have held up? Granted, I kept it in the jewel case that entire time. It's not like it rolled around it, like a lot of things in the 90s where it rolled around in a CD case. Uh, I did take pretty good care of it. It's always been in, a, in an air-conditioned environment and whatnot, but just the same as like for the, for the nonsense, I just decided to go the complete emulator route here. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start playing uh, East. Truly, the first one, book one and two. Uh, I want to say the original, original book one, the first release of that was actually on the Sega Master System in 1988. And then I want to say book two did come out in 89. And so this, once the TurboGrafx came out, uh, this was a bundle of the two. They're really the same game because it's, it's once we play it and get through it, it is it is a pretty cohesive story. It's almost like, Book one sort of ends halfway through, ends on a cliffhanger. Things that 
at the time I'd be like, are you kidding me? If I played the master system version, I was like, that's how the game ends. I'd be, I'd be, I think I would have been pretty upset. <laughs> that's, that's so lame. But, um, but needless to say, this was how uh, my affection for the E-Series truly began. And so now that I've got the emulator working, I decided to go back in time and we're going to find out exactly how much Seraph remembers of this game, having not played it in 30 years. My TurboGrafx console uh, died pretty, pretty early on, unfortunately. And so the CD component of it went first. And so even when the rest of the console still worked, I was able to play things like Blazing Lasers and Aero Blasters and some other shmups. The TurboGrafx was really good at shmups for whatever reason. I get, I gather it had a pretty good CPU in it at the time. Um, and so it was really an underloved console. And so as I get ready to get started on this, I feel like this commentary is, is, is fitting, but I'll put in chapters in case you ever want to skip any part of it in the event that I go into some very long kind of descriptions of like what, you know, what console it was out on and whatnot. If you're just looking for gameplay or any specific part of gameplay, I'll try and put some of those in chapters. I would imagine we are not going to get E through even East Book 1 tonight just because it's been 30 years. And I'm sure that once we get to the mine, I'm going to get lost because I remember that whole experience just being one gigantic clusterfuck. But who knows? Maybe we play this and I go, what the hell was 10-year-old Seraph thinking? This isn't so bad. But... I, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that once we start getting through this, I'm going to go, oh yeah, I remember why I got so lost in here. And we're, we're going to see how much I remember and we're going to have some fun here. So without any further ado now, let's get this, let's get this show on the road. So let's go over to in-game and this grabbed it pretty well last time in, in, uh, in testing here. And East book one and two should grab this opening should be grabbing this now mm, i'd feel better if it grabbed that but maybe yeah, there it goes okay perfect <laughs> okay man this brings back so many memories of my of my childhood man the, the nostalgia is hard with this game And the objective is we're going to try and do everything. We're going to try and do a complete playthrough of this. Now, mind you, this is a retro game. Some things are not going to age well. But this came out at around the same time that Super Mario Brothers 3 came out. So that's, that's its competition. That's its contemporary. This came out at least a year, uh, I, I think it came out a year before Zelda A Link to the Past. And I'm not going to skip anything, I'm just going to let things play. ideal utopia. Once a country so peaceful and prosperous. A country where children were as free as the wind. A country where harmony blew through the hearts of all men. East. A kingdom ruled by the wisdom and charity of its six powerful priests. An empire watched over and blessed by the enchanting aura of its two beautiful goddesses. East, the seemingly tranquil paradise suddenly pulled from the height of its civilization to the empty abyss of infinite isolation. How could such a land of promise simply vanish from the face of the planet? How could such prosperity be forgotten? The legend has been silenced for over 700 years. And now, the mystery unfolds.
Some of the artwork is a little risque, for, especially for, you know, 1989, 1990, but nothing too ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Freakbot, how are you, buddy? So as we get started here, you come at a good time. <laughs> That's right, big blue ball in the way of the anime boobies. <laughs> so uh, actually, let's 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 switch real quick to uh, just chatting here for a quick while I uh, say hello to everybody. Let's let's do some shout outs. I don't know how much further you got. Did you end up uh, did you end up beating the uh, Star Super Mario World uh, remake or did you? Because uh, you were pretty close there at the end. Or did or did dinner get there and was like, all right, let's let's raid Seraph while I eat. They last played it one night. That's his castle. 18 layers of bullshit. Oh my god. And we'll leave it. Oh, that's that sucks. Oh well. That's all right. Well, we'll he'll finish it next time. Come on, shout outs. Please tell me my shout outs are working. Oh, I guess they last played it. That I guess uh, Stream Elements is 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 broken. It can't figure out what people were playing. It half worked. Yeah, it did the same for Freakbot. <laughs> oh, Stream Elements bot, don't don't change. Oh my God, it was working literally the other day, if I remember correctly. I guess I'll have to go in there and re uh, and retake a look at it, but that's okay. And just in case he's with everybody, because I know he was there before. Well, we'll do a shout out for for Caro as well. It's still gonna register it as a shout out anyway. So, uh, but welcome everybody. Uh, so Freakbot was last playing Super Mario World uh, hacks. Dark Star is playing Final Fantasy VII, and uh, Kara Jitsu was playing um, uh, American truck simulator i believe so even if even if my bot isn't working correctly the rest of seraph is is working correctly so at least there's that <laughs> so today uh i decided to take a brief break from battletech and we're gonna play uh a, a one of my favorite games growing up we're gonna go on a little bit of a nostalgia trick uh yeah something on twitch not working the hell you say that's right <laughs> um and so because this is not going to work probably um, as I, as I continue typing these out here, uh, Rob's playing, uh, Namco and Capcom, which is awesome. Uh, I did see a bit of the commercial, the fallout show that's coming out next month. The problem is it's coming out on Amazon prime and they play commercials on it. So part of me is almost like, why am I, why am I like, I don't pay for streaming to watch commercials. It drives me, that drives me crazy. I hate that Amazon has done that. Um, I probably will end up just biting the bullet and watching the fallout show. Um, I, it would be nice if it's good, but man, Amazon Prime has had a way of just swinging a missing on uh, on TV content. So I'm I don't know I don't know if I want to be optimistic about it or not. I, I'll probably let other people start watching it first, and then depending on how yeah, it's definitely touch on going prime. Like for example, the tick, the tick was awesome. It was great. That was by far and away their best show. Um, doc, I've never even heard of Documental yet. Um, if it's on Prime, I, I definitely haven't watched it. <laughs> the last thing I was watching on Prime was Renegade before the commercial started. Um, I will, I will add that as long as, uh, Smiling, Smiling Faces, I think Smiling Faces was the other recommendation you made for me. Uh, I'll have to add that. If it's on Netflix, I'll, Smiling Friends, that's right. Uh, if it's on Netflix, no, no issue there. I'll just add it right now. Oh yeah, Documental and Smiling Friends. I will indeed do that. Kara's uh, judgment's usually pretty good. Last thing I watched from Prime. Yeah, the boys, you know, <laughs> which really is who fucking remembers. Yeah, years ago. I think the boys came out in like 2020 or 2021. It's been a long time. Um, still waiting for the rest of Invincible. And news. I've heard Invincible is fucking amazing. And, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, oh yeah, I, for, I, I start, I watched half of season two of Vox Machina and then got distracted with something. That's right. It's on Adult Swim. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good shit. So, um, so yeah, tonight's stream is going to be, uh, 
me going back in time. It's going to be a little bit of a nostalgia trip. I've uh, frequently talked about I blame Kara for any distraction. <laughs> Honestly, I welcome distractions. That's part of the beauty of 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 streaming live on Twitch. It's great. If if I didn't want distractions, I would just stream offline and post directly to YouTube uh, complete playthroughs. And, for, you know, honestly, maybe one day, like once I play this game and I get back into the habit of it, I might actually do a complete playthrough of book one and two that's done well. I imagine I'm going to be lost as fuck playing this and we're going to have a great time either way. I'm either going to do things really well or I'm going to be lost as fuck and everybody can laugh at me. ASCII penises, that's right. Uh, they can be distracting. They were uh, indeed uh, very, very distracting. And Kara's uh, ability to draw ASCII art is... Uh, is is impressive uh i guess that's the word i'm looking for impressive that's that's the word i'm gonna go with right now uh impressive <laughs> that's, that's right the greatest of all time in drawing assy penis is, is it penis is p9 now i'm now i'm thinking about it great this these are the great things that seraph needs to be thinking about while i'm getting ready to play east book one and two what is the plural of penis <laughs> Oh my God. So, um, East is one of my favorite. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it, it's not even late. I can't even blame fatigue on this. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Dark star from the top rope. Holy crap. <laughs> I love you degenerate bastard so much. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we're a half hour in. I haven't even started the fucking game. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> okay. So, um, try, let's see if I can get us back on track here. Um, so East is one of my, and now anime boobies. Yes, exactly. So, um, so East is one of my favorite anime or anime. <laughs> it's one of my favorite game series of all time. It's um, it doesn't have quite the love of obviously Mario or Sonic or anything else like that. And the East anime was actually pretty decent. And if you haven't, Rob, I highly recommend watching the outtakes. They're hilarious. So if Rob already knows the story of this game. The anime is extremely faithful of uh oh boobies hello yeah <laughs> i i don't even know what I, I answered that before knowing what koobies was but i still stand behind my my instant uh instinct of going yes cartoon boobies yay um but the uh, vhs of the east anime is surprisingly uh, on point with how the game goes um so so yeah you already you already know the story of this rob but it's still gonna be fun to fun to play and so the original game, so East One came out in 1988 and came out for the Master System. East Book One and Two came out in 1990, early 1990 for the TurboGrafx CD. And so just take just just when when we're when we're watching this, just take that you know a little bit of, of a I don't know, a context into account. Um, because some of the some of the aspects of this may or may not have aged well or not. I actually don't remember. I haven't played this game since like 94, I think. So I, I want to say that was the last time I played this. I'm pretty sure because uh, I do remember playing this with a friend of mine. Uh, he came over to take a look at it because I, I told him about how awesome it was. He's like, oh, I got to see this. So, um, you know, a friend of mine comes over and, um, and, you know, he watches me play this. It was probably my first experience with, you know, you mean the touch? Yeah. The bump system, the, the bump system is what they called it. Yes. Uh, you just run around and run into enemies and it automatically slashes at them. It's, uh, it's, it's awkward if I remember correctly. So yeah, we're going to have some fun with that. But, um, I want to say from what I remember, I'm thinking the rest of this game is going to, is going to, uh, match up pretty well. All things considered, considering, again, this came out the same year that Super Mario Brothers 3 came out. So, uh, so yeah, let's cruise back here and make sure everything's working good. All right. So, here we go.
So this is the game where it all began. It had such a good sound system. Of all the, of the major consoles, it had, a, it had a way better sound console, uh, sound car, uh, System. I don't remember what audio codec they used for it, but it was dramatically better than either the Genesis or the Super Nintendo, in my humble opinion. I didn't even hear music or sound effects on par with the TurboGrafx until, like, the PS1 uh, came out. Such an anime video game, oh my god. <laughs> that shifty mustache dude with the knife. Gotta love all the cliches. mentioned like two characters and they managed to not even spoil it like you still have no idea what the hell Dally's or Darm are based on that introduction they're important but but we'll find out organically Yeah, getting the emulator set up with my gamepad was a, um, process. <laughs> that was the biggest obstacle. Getting it to run wasn't so bad. Getting, getting my gamepad to actually work was, uh, harder than anything else. So there we go. At all. Just disembarks the ship, comes to Hysteria. Please wait, swordsman. My name is Sarah. I am a fortune teller. You're the one I've been looking for. Please, follow me to my shop. Sure, what could go wrong? <laughs> it's ima Imagine how different the whole East series goes. Be like, I don't know, you're sus as fuck. And then he just walks in the other directions and none of the other nine and soon to be 10 games even happen. <laughs> she wants the East. Oh God, <laughs> here's my store code. <laughs> Uh, something terrible is going to happen in this country. You're the only one who could save us. However, you'll need the proper weapons for your battles. Please purchase a sword, a shield, and armor from the weapon shop. When you return, I will tell you what I would like you to do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, so status. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I want. Okay, that button does that. All right, so we are level one. We have nothing. All right. Nothing in our inventory. Oh, we're good here. Let's go to speed and fast. I don't think that controls that. I think this is text speed. Oops. Yeah, that's still the same thing. Yeah, that's just text speed. So we don't have to just sit there while it just crawls by. Uh, so here's a sword, a shield, a pair of 9 millimeters, 15 fully loaded mags, a hollow point, and a turnip. Don't you fucking dare ask what the turnip's for. <laughs> Dude, I would love it if an RPG started off like that. That'd be amazing. Useful if only for, not only for battle, for everyday use as well. Yeah, we need the sword. Oops. So there's our sword shop. We're going to be able to buy that, and we'll be able to buy armor, but I don't think we're going to be able to buy... Yep, we'll only be able to afford two of these. So we're going to have to go out into the field and already... Actually, how much money do I need for the uh, shield? Small shield. 700. Yeah, we need 600 gold just to do the first quest. 
Oh, so lame! Uh, Alright, so my big brother is seriously wounded in the abandoned mine. You shouldn't go in there until you're strong enough. Yeah, the game warning you, the mine is fucking crazy. Uh, although, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember there is a treasure chest in that mine that we might be able to go to. Well, let's talk to some of these NPCs here. Found an unusual silver shield, but a weird man in a black cape came and took it away from me. Please get it back from him. Let's see, Sarah's been acting strange lately. He keeps talking about the end of the world. Yeah, she's fucking right. Uh, my father is the mayor of Zeptic, not Septic, village. He seems worried lately. Will you please go and see what troubles him so? All right, well, that's a pretty obvious side quest. All right, I already talked to you. Let's take a look here. Uh, kids off to play underneath the road a tree. There are many goons out there. Oh, I'm so worried. Goons are monsters. All right, start bumping. <laughs> All right. So let's talk to the bartender. There have been a lot of robberies lately. We need to catch the thieves soon. We know it'll help the guy. Will you give us a hand? They don't even... doesn't even give you the option of that. I've never seen you before, and my name is Garrick. I've been hired to help hunt down the thieves. You'd like to join us for a drink? Sure! I've heard a rumor about a special uh, seed from, rear tr from a tree called Rhoda. The Rhoda tree is this gigantic tree uh, outside of town. We'll, we'll stumble across that. It's said that they're the most prized delicacy in the land. I would like to taste them just once before I die. I forget what the Rota Tree Nut does. Uh, actually, I think I do... Oh, you know what? It's coming back to me. I think I know what that Rota Tree do Nut does do. Um, hey, brother, will you listen to my story? Sure. I'm Donis. Why not Dennis? I don't know, but whatever. I've lost an expensive sapphire ring I bought for my wife. I had to work long and hard for that ring. Now I don't dare go home as I know my wife is gonna be... <laughs> I'm sure the thief stole it from me. All right, so that ring, I I remember where that is. Uh, let's see, I already talked to these guys. I don't think there's anything to do here. I don't need to buy medicine. I probably couldn't afford it anyway. His parents could only afford an O. <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel, but not an expensive one. I think that's the pawn shop. Yep, Pim's Trading Shop. Wing, mirror, silver armor. Sorry, we sold a short while ago. Yeah, it's going. Wore a black cape that a male emitted a pale glowing light. That's not suspicious as fuck. Ah, sapphire ring, look at that. All right, so only a thousand gold. So that's what we need. Once we get a thousand gold, I'll need to buy uh, the ring from this guy. That's the ring that this guy lost. That I remember. All right, so cool. My, my memory is actually coming back, despite the fact I haven't played this in fucking forever. I don't remember what we get for that, though, but that's all right. Hey, let's bump some more hoes. Here we go. Sarah's been looking for a swordsman. You must be him. Why don't you go to our shop and see what she wants? <laughs> the game telling me to go back there just in case uh, I was just fucking off and not doing what we were supposed to be doing. If you leave town through the outer yard, the gravel road will lead you to Zeptic Village. Uh, oh, yep, we already talked to you. You were wandering around the floor. Let's go over here and talk to somebody not important at all. I'm Lair, the poet. My silver harmonica is stolen, and I'm lost without it. It's the most important thing in my life. I can't create poems without my harmonica. Oh, what am I going to do? So already we're seeing a pattern that silver objects and trinkets are getting uh, stolen. There's the bar again. We already went in there. Okay, let's go... Let's go kill some monsters and make some money. And... So far that worked out pretty well, but yeah, you can see how fucking awkward this shit is. And... And you're always better going at an angle. If you go kind of dead on, it's almost a guaranteed... Nah, like that. Okay, let's heal. And when you're outside, you heal automatically, which is kind of cool. When you go inside the dungeons, then, um, you have to worry about oh, my shit. Damn it! Heal. Okay. Okay, cool. Yep. There we go. Okay. I do remember that being awkward. So that's as awkward as I remember. Jeez, we only got to 196. Ugh. But that's alright. We'll also gain levels while we're out here. That's important. We'll probably gain a level or two before things really kick off. Uh. Ah. Damn it. 
here. There's one rotor tree right there. Fuck. Whoops. Nope. 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 Heal. 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 Okay. It'd be pretty lame to die already. <laughs> that shit, shit. No. Fuck. Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, heal, 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 heal. Okay, cool. Ah, went too far. There we go. Fucking bump system. Yeah, I don't miss the bump system. Thankfully, this is the only game that they ever did it for. At least Falcom realized how bad of an idea it was. So the concept behind it actually wasn't terrible, but um, the idea was for, because the turbo graphics like the NES only had two buttons. So by essentially doing the bump system, you essentially got to gain a button on your controller. That was the uh, the concept. Like it, the, I, the concept wasn't completely bonkers. It's just, it's awkward. <laughs> it's very, very awkward. There we go, we gained a level. Now, should do a little more damage to this fucker. We did damage to you before. There we go. Good. That's on another way. If you're not directly on, you can just run into them and then back off real quick. Oh, nope, nope. Fucking dog. Trapped me. Fortunately, they don't... Ah. They don't chase you across the bridge, so at least... Killing me. You're not killing me, dog. I'm not gonna die some fucking dog out here. Let's really rather not die to some fucking dog out here. Damn it. Damn dog left. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill it. I definitely don't want to get trapped up there. Ah, fucker. Er. I don't think. Yeah, I can't do anything with this rotor tree yet. Okay. Scared. Mm. <laughs> okay. I think we'll save. <laughs> I did a quick save just to make sure that the actual game was saving. Just figured that would be bad to find out on stream that the saves didn't actually work. Dogs do such fucking so much damage. Of course, I think the problem is uh, I also don't have a shield yet. Once I get a shield and my defense improves, then I don't have to worry about this so much. Alright. Uh, well, I'm only two away from a level here. Oops, I ran right by the guy. I only have two more things to kill before I gain a level, so that's good. And like most RPGs of the era, you will do a lot of grinding. The other rotor tree is down here. Still don't think there's anything to do with it. Anything to do with this guy? Nope. No buttons work. Oh! Shit! Damn it! Yeah, yeah. Luckily, we saved not all that long ago. It's my own fault for trying to get over there. Too far away from my safety net of the bridge. We don't have to redo all that much. <laughs> Shit. 
Team definitely does not have kick gloves. This dog. Just like that, we're almost, almost recovered what we lost. Damn it. Hmm? I keep thinking the other button is, uh... I'm gonna have to get used to that. We need 700 gold. That's very annoying. Damn, these dogs are fucking crazy. Let's see. The fact that they thought this was a good idea years after LOZ existed is beyond me, yeah, right? Not sure what they were thinking. I mean, I know what they were thinking. They, they, again, they were thinking save up the button, but it was not great. So, thankfully, none of the other East games include this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. The trick really is just to get that side angle. We're almost there. Then once we get to 700, we can advance the we can advance the plot. See, now we're okay. Good. Now we're high enough. Uh, we have a high enough defense because we leveled up, but instead of them doing damage to us, we just defend. Whereas before, we were taking damage with those. I'm also starting to get better at it again. So much of it is, is about exactly how you run around and everything else. Now let's save. Yep, save back in Minia Town. We definitely don't want to do that again. So what we'll probably do is we're going to buy this shield. Yep. Shield. You know what? It just occurred to me. I'm an idiot. Ahem. Would help if we equipped that shit I bought. We're going to have an easier time in the field now. Fuck Christ. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's see the fortune teller though and get this get this shit started. Thanks for easing my worries. By the way, do you know about the books of East? Well let's say no. Uh just so that it goes over it, because we kinda need this info dump here. East is the name of an ancient country that existed long, long ago. The history of Ys was recorded in six volumes, known as the Books of Ys. When Ys vanished, the six books disappeared as well. The crystal indicates that one of the books of Ys is in the shrine. Do you think you can recover the book? <laughs> I love that gives you an option of no. Like, nah, I'm just gonna go back on the boat. Alright. Really? You'll do it? Thank you so much. Please take this crystal with you. It will help you find your way. I don't think we could even get into the shrine without the crystal. I think the crystal unlocks it. And we do get some XP for that. So it's nice. All right, now that uh, Seraph has actually equipped the shit I bought. I can't believe I forgot to equip that. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. So now we've got two, well, our main plot thing is to go to um, the shrine and grab a book of ease. Now let's see uh, what happens. Yeah, yeah, that's a little easier. I'm such a dumbass. Oh my god, Seraph, you're stupid as hell. <laughs> you know, that's gonna be fun going back into YouTube, uh, watching that over and being like, God damn it, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? 
Um, all right, so up here, all right, so here's the mine. Oops. Look, you little assholes. I'm trying to do something really stupid, okay? And this is like, this is, this is definitely really stupid. So the game warns you not to go into the mine. Because this is a horrible idea. But if I remember correctly, there is a treasure chest over here. Whoops. Nope. 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 Don't. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, damn it. Yep. Yeah, they pretty much instant kill you. I saved it just outside. I, I remember there being a treasure chest that I think I could get to, though. Let's see if I can get to it. Is it down here, maybe? Maybe it was down here. So that seemed very far, didn't it? Whoops, nope, nope. Don't kill me, don't kill me. I vaguely remember, whoops, nope, guy's gonna kill me. I do remember a treasure chest being over on this side somewhere. That's not all that far in. Of course, I could be completely... Spend 30 years. No, 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 no. Man, I can't believe that guy's not killing me. Stop. No. Ah. All right. I am not familiar enough with this game at this point to make that work. But I do remember there being something cool that wasn't all that difficult to get to in there. That's all right. Once I'm leveled enough for the mine and I start going through it, I'll be like, God damn it, this is the direction I needed to go for that treasure chest. I don't think I've seen you before. Are you a traveler? This is Epic Village. I sometimes hear strange voices while walking in the field. It scares the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd be scared too if I just heard voices randomly out in the field. That's, that's reasonable. All right, so here's Zeptic Village. Village Mayor, you've come at just the right time. I have a favor to ask, but first, I must know if you can keep a secret. <laughs> no? <laughs> I love how you're a complete stranger and this guy just starts telling you a secret. Our village memorial, the Silver Bell, has been stolen by the thieves. I would like you to bring it back. I mean, granted, there's a reason why he wants to be telling you this, but... Can you do it? Nope, count on me. Er, yeah, no problem, count on me. The thieves' nest is in the mountain to the north of this village. Good luck. And one more thing. Please don't tell the village people the bell has been stolen. So yet again, more silver stolen. Nope. While working in the mine, I found a strange annexed room. There were two statues of the goddesses surrounded by a pale light. When I saw them, I felt as if I were in another world. Well, that sounds important. Not many people like the thieves, but they are very street smart. If there's anything you don't understand, go to their hideout. They may help you. Let's see. I heard the silver bell has been stolen from the mayor's house. Do you know anything about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I saw a suspicious looking man yesterday. He walked toward the shrine with a beautiful shield in his hand. Well, my husband Luda was gone when I woke up this morning. I'm worried because he sometimes walk in, walks in his sleep. Where could he have gone? Hmm, alright, so... I need to find a dude named Luda, a weird cloaked guy with a shield going towards the shrine. Oh, that's Sarah's crystal. You're going to find the books of East, aren't you? Then take this key with you. That's right. Now I get... Okay, and the shrine key now unlocks the shrine. When I was young, I heard about the books of East. We're good here. Looks like ruins, and up we go. The music is just awesome. <laughs> go. Yeah, let's save. XP is a premium. And at least while we're out here, while we, uh, recover, as long as you're outside and you're standing still, you just gain health. But once you're in dungeons, that shit goes away. Whoa. Let's, uh, not do that, guys. 
Let's not play at all ping pong. Ping pong? That'd be great. Thanks. Oh, they are good about getting on line with you here. On a line with you here. Oops. There we go. Perfect. Thieves' nest should be over here. Damn it. I don't think this goes anywhere. Nope. Whoops. Yeah, that's where they that's where they really do a lot of damage. If you get stuck somewhere and you can't move, they'll just keep hitting you and your HP plummets. See. Man, this does bring back fuck tons of memories. I don't think there's anything up here either. Yep. Nope. We're just on the edge of uh, the cliff face here. So here's the thief's nest. Not long ago, my cro comrade uh, Cullen was lost in Darm Tower. He's been missing ever since. Why did he ever go to such a nasty place? So, and one of the other frustrating things, continuity-wise, it took me forever to figure this out, but Colin in this game is named Dogie in every other name in other, every other game since. So when they talk about Colin here, they're talking about Dogie. I'm pretty sure. What do you want, young man? What do you mean we're a pack of stinking louses? You've got it all wrong. Well, he's stealing from the rich, because that makes it better. We never want to hurt the ordinary people. Even though we're thieves, we too have been victims of theft. Someone has stolen all our silver goods. We can't figure out the reasoning behind such an atrocity. Yeah, an atrocity, people stealing from thieves. But, again, useful information, even the thieves are getting their silver stolen from them, which means it's not the thieves stealing the silver. All right, so the question is, does Seraph try to farm another level before going into this fucking shrine, or actually, um, you know what I might want to do before going into the shrine here? Actually, there's something else I do want to do. Now that I'm not completely getting my ass kicked, I just remembered, I just remembered something. I just remembered something. It's all starting to come back to me. We're gonna go back to the field. There's actually something in the field to get somewhere, but where is it? I think I'm looking for a pond. Yeah, I'm looking for a pond, I think. I think. I'll save before getting completely off on a tangent here. Let's see. Let's see how wrong I am. Oops, around here somewhere. Yep. You dive in to check it out. Boom. I can't believe I remembered that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> 30 fucking years I fucking remembered that. Oh my god, I like basically went right to it. I don't think, I think that was probably coincidence. I don't think I remembered exactly where that was. I think it just so happened it was there. But not too bad. We could sell that golden vase. Here's pawn. We're gonna sell. Uh, golden vase, yep. Perfect, let's sell that. Oops, wrong, right. Whole point of a lot of that. Now we wanna buy the sapphire ring, yep. Exit. Now we go to the bar and we return that dude's silver sapphire ring. I just don't remember why that's important to do. What? You found the ring in Pim's trading shop and you bought it back for me? That's right. You are too kind. I can't pay you much, but please to. Ah, okay. We make 500 gold in that transaction. Sweet. All right. We'll exit. Let's buy some better shit. Okay, so it really wasn't that important. Uh... Let's see... Yeah... Do I try to save up and just skip ahead? I'd have to make another 2,000 gold in order to go straight for the katana. Or do I just buy this longsword and be done with it? Hmm... Yeah, man. I don't know. The long sword would give us an immediate better damage option. Uh, or where do I 
just save up a little bit more and go straight for the katana. Actually, I'm kind of inclined. Well, let's see what the let's see what this armor costs. Now, nope, same thing. Plate armor, reflex armor. That's like six thousand gold. Holy shit! That's expensive. That's expensive as shit. Um. Yeah, if I'd remembered the damn golden vase, I wish I'd gone straight for it. We could have made our our lives a little easier with the. That's all right. Let's let's just buy the chain armor, or uh, let's buy the plate armor. Let's take a little less damage. Be a little more survivable. This time we're actually gonna equip it. Unfortunately, we can't sell old swords and armor and all that. That's what it is. Still. More defense. Okay, now we can go into the shrine. And try to track down this Book of Ease. While keeping an eye out for, uh... Some cloaked figure. Some mysterious cloaked figure. Damn, dog. Even with the better armor, we still take damage from that dog. <laughs> profits are profits. That's right, profits are profits. If I've fallen to gold at this stage of the game, that that's a lot of money. Alright, so now we head back to the shrine. Let's see, we're 25 XP from a level. Damn. Ugh, we'd have to kill 25 of these fucking things for a level. You know what? It's gonna go quick. Let's just do that. Let's just take a minute. We'll do that. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Damn it. Let me kill you. <laughs> fucking bumps this thing. <laughs> Shit's so awkward. <laughs> like, even when you get the hang of it, there, it's it's never, like... It's never not awkward. I don't think there's anything over here, but let's look anyway. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's just, like, a bit of mountain, and then... Then the shrine, and just, like, on a cliff over here. Kind of a weird place for a shrine. So the shrine actually makes a little more sense in East 2. We'll, we'll come back to why the shrine is in such like an odd place. I don't think we'll get to East 2 tonight, but... Come on, three more. Save, and then we'll go into the shrine. Come here. Give me my level. No. Give me my level, asshole. Ugh. Get out of the way. I don't need you assholes around while I'm trying to save. The wrong side of the mountain! Over the mountain! I love the music, man. So there's a remake version of this on Steam? Actually, I'll just save here just in case I die. At least we have fewer screens to go through. I think this I need. Yep, it's locked. Uh, there's a Steam version of this, but the Steam version is pure, utter garbage. Unfortunately. Um... Falcon makes some great games, but their PC ports lead a lot to be desired. Huh. Shit, I could've just walked inside the fucking shrine and gotten that ruby. That ruby sells for a decent amount of fucking coin, too. Um, I guess we'll try to beat the boss first. If we start running into trouble at this point, then we'll go back to town and re-equip. Okay. First boss time. Keep hitting the wrong button. I want 
wonder if the buttons... Yep, I always use the shrine key. So this is as far as we could have gotten without doing the plot. See how much of this shit I remember. Can't get to you over there. Oh, buddy. Ah, shit. Fucked up. Come on. I'm not falling for that. Come on, asshole. Oh, I fucked up again. Damn it. I got impatient. No worries. We got him. We're not underleveled, uh, crazily. I just need to not fuck up. Go in the middle, you bastard. Let's see what we got in there. Missile. Damn it, that was perfect. Got him. <laughs> Tactical bumping. <laughs> okay. Save. Yeah, I'm probably gonna save a lot. And I'm, uh, I'm obviously just playing this straight through. I'm not doing save states or anything else like that. We're just going to do the whole playthrough here, warts and all. Buddy. Remember needing to go to the upper right. Asshole. Oh, he, he went down. What? Come on, goon. I love how the monsters in this game are called goons instead of just, you know, fucking monsters. Oh. Doesn't say anything? Alright. Okay, all these are locked. Fair enough. I think what I need to do here is be... Just try to avoid... Okay, there's a treasure chest. I think it's locked, but... Yeah, of course it's locked. They're all locked. Now, if I get hit, I can't recuperate my... Uh... Yeah, they're all fucking locked. Can't get into any of these. So far, I'm doing a pretty decent job not getting not getting hit at least. So there's that. I don't think there's any reason to go up this way. Look anyway. There isn't. It's just to help get you get lost. But yeah, for the period of time, this was an enormous fucking game. This was a huge fucking game. Shrine Basement 1. That treasure chest I don't think is locked, but it's protected by a fucking bunch of fucking monsters. Yep, there's my first hit. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, definitely can't take any more of that. Holy shit, that was terrible. Hey, buddy, come here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Seraph can die really easily here. As you can just see. Motherfucker. Mm. All right, let's try it. Let's be stupid. Let's be stupid. Fuck it. YOLO, bitches. Damn it. <laughs> it's alright. We got it. We got this. I just have to try it again. Oh! 
I know I saved it with... I know I saved it with one of them dead already. All right, let's go back out. We'll heal. We'll try it again. Pretty sure that's the treasure chest I need that unlocks everything. Let's not die. Side. I think we'd regenerate in here. Yep. Perfect. This counts as outside. All right. No problem. Back we go. God damn it. Seriously? I know it's only one hit point, but fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. This time without the fucking oops. There we go. Back. And one more and we're gonna level up anyway. Nice if we got full health every time we leveled up, but no. Watch me do all this and it's fucking locked anyway. Can you imagine? That's the way you're supposed to do that. All right, now we got the prison key. It doesn't unlock the treasure chests, but it at least unlocks those. So now we can go back. I don't think, I think we get a, we hit a limit here of what we can do. I think we, at this point we have to go back and access that prison. But I'll look anyway. Almost positive. Damn it. Oh, I could go down deeper. I guess the question is, what am I... Let's go back up. Since I've already been an idiot and gotten hit. Try just to get out. Try just to get out. Let's try just to escape here. Get back to the prison. I don't think there's anything up that way. I'm pretty sure this is just an enemy. Yep. Perfect. That little bastard's not worth the trouble. None of these statues really do anything. Look, we already took some damage here. Head out. This way. Yep. Wrong. It's so easy to get lost in these dungeons. They are enormous. Now, I don't think there's anything useful in here. I think it's just, yep, monster. And I'm pretty sure this. Really, dude? monster. No, no! Ah! Bad Seraph. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Let's try that again. This time without the dying. That's my own fault. I didn't need to fight that thing. I don't know what I was thinking. So unnecessary. Head over here. Uh, nope. Nope. Bad Sarah. Oh. Uh. Unfortunately, I'm so low level, and of course, we also don't. We have shit equipment. That uh, it's really, really easy to die. Okay. Let's not do that again. Let's use the prison key. Anime cutscene! Yeah, bad Seraph, no cookie. <laughs> Are you here to rescue me? How wonderful it would be to escape these chains. 
I have been locked up here for too long. My name is Fina. I'm not going to do her voice, but, um, you've got no time to spare. You should escape while I attract the goons' attention. You'll be safe once you get to Zeptic Village. See you later. Wait, before you go, take this key. I'm sure it could be of some use. Yep, and now we can get inside all the treasure boxes. Nice that the goons don't actually come inside the fucking cell. So now we can actually open the treasure boxes. Uh, which I don't... Yep, this one. Okay, that is a, a massive, like, those two FPS animations. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Although, again, at the time, that was pretty impressive artwork. Um, and especially the color palette of the Turbo Graphics was way better than the NES. Um, so anyway, that item I remember being super important. Now we've got that. It's also a weird item. this way. Ah. Let's go back to Zeptic Village. We're going to come back to the shrine in a minute because we still need to get the Book of East, but we're going to regroup here. Pretty sure. Yep. I knew that treasure box was up there. Ah, yes, the armor ring. Our first ring. Perfect. Perfect. That alone will make us much more survivable. Oh, and we're also regaining health. I mean, I could just go back down, but I think we're just going to do some plot here. We're actually getting close to gaining another level, too. Since Zeptic Village isn't all that far away, we'll cruise down there and then we'll buy the katana. So we essentially did skip a, um, and plus we'll sell the rubies, so we'll have money after that. Uh, I think this is the mayor's house. Yep. Oh, he's gonna go through the whole fucking dialogue again! I know, I know. I will try to bring you your thing back. I am so sorry I went into this one instead of the other one. <laughs> I had a feeling it was the mayor. And unfortunately, you can't escape its dialogue. All right, so the mayor's house is to the left of the road. All right, so when you go down the road, do not go left again for the love of God, Seraph. <laughs> there we go. So let's speak with Jeva again. The village girl told me that when she was walking in the field, she heard strange voices near the rotary tree. I've often heard that trees are living creatures, and that they can communicate in nature. What an interesting concept. I'm glad you're safe. Jeva told me that I could stay with her for a while. I can't understand why I was taken to the shrine. Every time I try to remember, I get an awful headache. Alright, so... Amnesiac Fina captured by the monsters and thrown into the shrine for some weird reason. And we get more... What? Right, back this way. We need to sell that ruby. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going in the mine. It's a shame I can't remember exactly because reasons. Don't overthink it. <laughs> so, we joke. There actually is a very... There actually is a very, very, very good reason why she was kidnapped. But... I'm, I'm not going to get into that now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's sell this ruby. Sell! Ruby! Yep. Actually, I thought it was going to be worth more than that. Oh, well. But still, we got tons of money. We like money. Sneaks up behind you, takes a book, rubs all... <laughs> Shoves a coin through it. <laughs> oh, man. 
So obviously I haven't been watching your stream for uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth because I plan to play it and I don't want to spoil myself. But spoiler free, how's, how's the game been going? I'm actually really looking forward to playing it. I just have to finish um, the first Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, game. There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. Been good. Nice. So at some point we'll be able to afford something called the a wing. Uh, the Genesis or ah, this is a uh, TurboGrafx-16. Greetings, Phoenix. How are you, man? So uh, it is this right here. <laughs> it's it's emulated, but uh, but this is the. In fact, the genuine TurboGrafx-16 version. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I actually thought about buying um, Magic Engine and playing my actual game. No, get back here. But um, I decided to just download an ISO and, uh, and use an emulator just because I was a little concerned that my physical disc, I mean, it is legit 30 years old. All right, so there's that one. Let's try going to the other one, because at some point, we're able to do stuff with the Rota Trees. There's the village. There's Minia Town. This fucking dog. Not killing us this time. Come on. Nope, still can't do anything with the Rota Tree. I think we need the Rota Tree Seed, and then once we get that, then we'll be able to talk to the Rota Tree. And that, um... That's, that's important to do. <laughs> for, for, as of yet, unspecified reasons. So definitely a lot of improvements from Remake were implemented. Backtracking is not as big as a hassle. Ah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, it's always nice when after developers make a game, they're like, huh. Yeah, uh, we, we came up with some better ways of doing things. Was this E-Series ported to other systems? I can't remember, but... It, Yes, yeah, so this, uh, you know, I don't remember about this one. East 3 for sure was ported to the Super Nintendo and it just, it wasn't as good of a port. Um, obviously the Super Nintendo had better games, but the TurboGrafx had a, a much better visual processor, had a significantly better CPU. I, I want to say the TurboGrafx had like a 7 megahertz processor and the Super Nintendo had like a 3.5. Um, not to mention the sound codec or the, um, Essentially, the built-in sound card. Uh, the TurboGrafx had a significantly better sound card. Uh, so just... It unfortunately just wasn't as good of a port. But, um... But the Super Nintendo... This... I want to say this probably came out for the Super Nintendo. I know E3 for sure did. Alright, so let's save. We don't want to do uh, a lot of that again. Alright, we gotta get this book. East game, yep, Wanderers from East on the Super Nintendo's first East game. I think it was a lot of people's first East game. Um, SNES was the technological better system to the Genesis. But, uh, TurboGrafx, yeah, I totally... Well, it depends. So the Super Nintendo had a much better graphics processor than, than the Genesis. I think the Super Nintendo was able to do, like, either four or ten times as many colors at the same time as the Genesis did. Um, the color palette was was vastly superior, um, but same thing. The Genesis had a um, had a much higher clock processor, so games like Sonic ran really, really well in the Genesis because it could it could handle that, and Genesis could do shmups pretty well. But um, but uh, I think overall the Super Nintendo had better games uh, than the Genesis, and obviously the Super Nintendo had had a much better um, graphics engine, so things were just so much more colorful and better looking on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> there were uh, so developers did a bunch of hacks on certain things but Super Nintendo never really had a bunch of good um, like a good a bunch of good shooters for the most part they kind of skipped it but yeah developers especially when Donkey Kong Country came out um, developers came up with a bunch of uh, development hacks because so I think one of the things that one of the and, and Freakbot knows a little and you and Freakbot actually know more about the Super Nintendo's architecture than I do, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of those late-year Super Nintendo developers 
ended up able to essentially have the Super Nintendo do two instructions per clock at the end to sort of get more mileage out of the Super Nintendo because it technically had two processors, so it offloaded a lot of that processing to the other one. But, but again, that's me trying to remember conversations from high school, so I don't know if I'm remembering that shit for sure. Yeah, the last few games were absolutely massive on cartridge. Totally true. All right. Back to more awkward bump system. Did I save the game? I think I saved it, but let's let's not fuck around. <laughs> let's let's not fuck around. Uh, all right, so now we're looking for treasure chests. I'm gonna make sure we get all the treasure chests in this fucking shrine. But yeah, I mean, the sound on the Turbo Graphics was, I don't think another console rivaled it until the PS1 came out in um, either 96 or 97. It was, it was crazy how ahead of the time the Turbo Graphics was with sound. Um, Turbo, yeah, I agree. The Turbo Graphics never got a fair shake in, in America. Whoever, whoever, oh, we could have sold that, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll sell that when we get back. So I was looking at the emulated games for the Turbo Graphics, and I'm looking at it, and the number, sheer number of CD games that came out in Japan, whoever was determining who exported CD games to North America should have been fired. They did a criminally incompetent job of uh, of sending games. Like, there was Rondo of Blood, East 4, um, I mean, it, it's criminal what didn't get released here. Honestly, if you're talking about PC Engine native non-CD quality sound, it was kind of tinny. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I want to say the PC Engine's native sound was still, uh, was still the superior audio codec. Now, maybe that was the game makers that made games for it, too. Um, but I still feel like the, the native, like, because I want to, I know it wasn't Roland, but I remember thinking it was on par with the Roland uh, sound cards at the time. But I don't know. Um, the audio right now is pretty high quality. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, pushing the uh, Super Nintendo could, I don't think the Super Nintendo could do this. Um, I, think I loved my Super Nintendo, but um, but again, I, I would call the TurboGrafx uh, sound engine a good, at least a good generation ahead of its time. Which is funny because it was named the TurboGrafx. I, I, I wish they had leaned into the marketing of it um, and really pushed games to really take advantage of what it could do with its uh, with its audio engine, and I, I that was a, a missed opportunity. I feel like. Let's see. Genesis of lower lower audio quality. I had more of a metal. Yeah, you know, I agree with that. You know, the the developers with the Genesis did more with less with its audio because the Genesis audio I, I never felt like it was it was it wasn't nearly as good. Now the Genesis also came out what two years before the Super Nintendo, so it's it, it stands to reason that the Super Nintendo would have had you know at least had two years to come up with some uh, technological improvements over the Genesis. I know the Genesis came out in August of 89, uh, two weeks before the Turbo Graphics actually, but uh, yeah, as it, oh no question, the Super Nintendo outclassed the Genesis by far with the RPGs, no doubt. Final Fantasy VI, uh, Secret of Mana, uh, really the only Genesis RPG I can think of. Uh, granted, it was really, really fucking good, um, but was uh, Shining Force 2. That was, that was really it. Um, okay, how do I get up there? I'm not blind, right? Oh, I think I have to go up here. Yep, and then we go down. Oh, we didn't get hurt by that guy. Let's do that. Fantasy Star 4, yeah! All right, we got the silver bell. Well, we found Zeptic Village's bell. Actually, let's save that since that was important. <laughs> the nice part is the game does let you save pretty much any anywhere. Oh, fuck you, bastard thing. Okay, what am I doing now? I think that's it for this floor that we can do. But one of the things that we're going to do here, nothing here. So the Mask of Eyes, uh, what it allows you to do is um, there are certain secret areas and the Mask of Eyes allows you to see them. Uh, where am I going? 
What is Seraph doing? All right, the stairs are on the other side. <clears throat> Shit, okay. That was almost bad. I forget what it's called. Genesis had a good Zelda clone, too. Ah, Crusaders. God, man. That's a blast in the past. Wait, where am I? Okay, I think I have to go with this one. Jeez, we're not even in the mine yet, and I'm fucking lost. No. Oh, you little bastard. You almost got me, too. Damn it. Fucker. But at least we're not taking as much damage now. That's not too bad. Let's save here as between we before we get a little lower here. This is this is fucking tense, dude. <laughs> uh, do you recommend playing it? I've never tried it, but I love Zelda. The main issue is that early Genesis was majorly first party published and developed. Stop doing that. I'm gonna end up unequipping something important. Ow. Okay, that just brings me around that way. Can't go around that way. Damn it. Bastard. I'm taking way too much damage while I just try to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Bastards. Ah, that's right. I remember you now. All right, that's gonna teleport me somewhere. And I think I have to do it. Come here, buddy. Go. Yep, I have to teleport it. All right, so let's do this one first. Come here, come here, come here. Shithead. Let's open up the treasure box key. Oh yeah, Genesis definitely ruled with the sports games. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. All right, Adolf gets the silver shield. Holy shit, I forgot this was down here. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that was easy to miss, and that's why they left it here. Wow, I'm glad I picked that up, little bastard. All right, you know what? We're we're gonna save. That's important. Jesus, Kendrick card is only four or five hundred dollars on eBay. Oh my God! Yeah, some of the. The genuine retro stuff is so fucking expensive. It's absurd, man. Like if I didn't have a um if I didn't have a situation where I really didn't have the space for some of like my old Sierra games, I kind of wish I had saved it. Huh, what was that? I swear that blue statue's eyes glow. All right, so that's a clue. It's nice of them to at least give us the clue there. You Ah, good. We got a heal potion. We're gonna need that. <laughs> it's nice to get a free heal potion. Okay. Oh, this little fucker. Just killed you. Go away. Thank you. Alright. And you can even see there's like a little hole here. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. The only problem with the mask of eyes is, uh,. It makes enemies invisible also, so it makes uh, hidden hidden passages appear. Damn it. But it totally leaves you vulnerable to getting your ass kicked. I think that's what I want, but eh. Damn it, I'm taking way too much damage. I'm taking way too much damage here. This is the guy that really fucks me up with that. Oh no, this is the way. This is, this is, uh, this is, all right. So this is what I ultimately want, but I think I need a key. So this is where I'm, this is where I'm ultimately going. I 
don't think this is even going to let me in. It's locked. Yep. All right. So I still need a key for that. So that's where we're going. Um, he's, whether a gamer born, this is from the new trailer. <laughs> I've never teamed with Turbo Graphics 16 in person. You know, that's so true. I've been having an issue with uh, the NES games, trying to collect all the North American retail games. Yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix State Black has a great fucking 80s room and an awesome collection. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. But yeah, what's left is pricey and it just keeps skyrocketing. Um, yeah, whole second coming started with the root in the Trist area as a test market. It's true. It's true. Although I ended up buying, um, well, my parents got me a, a TurboGrafx-16 when I was here. So in that sense, that was, that was unusual. Whoops. All right, so we need to go this way. I need to not die. Okay, Seraph, no dying. You're not allowed to die, Seraph. I'm probably going to try to, uh... I'm probably just going to use that, um... Healing potion before I fight the boss. Ah, keep hitting the wrong button here. Oh, really? Did you really just make me do all that for the fucking key? It really did just make me do this for the fucking... Yep. It just made me do that for the fucking key. <laughs> oh, it's fucking funny. That's okay. Oh, that's such a cheap... Yeah, that was so fucking cheap. It's unbelievable. Cheap. Super cheap. All right, so this guy's gonna come down here. Okay, I think we've pretty much done everything we can. All right, let's... Uh... Use heal potion, yes! All right, let's see if we're strong. Oh. Oh, I just used a heal potion for no reason. I thought the marble door would open that. Shit. I did that and then saved like an idiot. Fuck. You stupid asshole. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. All right, let's go back over this way. Did I miss anything? Let's see, did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Let's go back over here. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Shit. Do I have to have the marble key equipped, maybe? I don't think so. No, you don't have to have the keys equipped. What am I missing? All right, Seraph's lost in the shrine already. And we're not even to do the hard shit yet. That's super awesome. All right, is there another door somewhere that we need to get to now? Neo Geo is, yeah, absolutely. Neo Geo was fucking money. I never knew anybody with a Neo Geo either. We all heard about it. It sounded awesome, but yeah, an 800 console in the nine in the 90s. Who who had one of those? That was that was crazy. It was like bonkers. Um, yeah, nobody nobody had that. All right, I've got the armor. Okay, good. I've got that equipped. All right. Well, at least we saved. Let's see, what am I doing? I'm probably going backwards. Is Seraph going backwards? Only time will tell. Nope, that was the treasure chest for that. Well, we're getting XP while I wander the fucking shrine, trying to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Well, at least we didn't take damage from that asshole. Ugh. <sighs> I 
think I need to go down that thing. Maybe I need to go this way? Is this way I need to go? Maybe I need to go this way. How about this? Nope. Nope. That's not where I need to go. Uh, Honkers was on... Stupid little chuckleheads. Come here. Thank you. Uh, I think that's the way I came down, right? Yeah, that's the way I came down. Let's just try to complete... Oh, there's another treasure chest. Okay, maybe that's the key I needed. Oh, this is so lame. Alright, you know what? Let's... Maybe I could do this without taking a lot of damage, right? Let's save. Since that key is probably what I need. Let's just look over here on this floor. I don't think there's anything over there. So we go back this way now. Go around. I don't think there's anything here yet. That's a dead end, right? Good. I'm remembering that correctly. So then there's this, but I think what I need... Yep, I need to go through that. Hmm. You. Yep, I know, you're reminding me. Uh damn thing. Alright. Try this again. And if it works, I only lost two hit points out of the whole thing. It's actually not terrible. It's just not great. Hopefully those two hit points don't come back to bite us. There we go. Alright, ivory key. Cool. Alright, not terrible. Bonkers, I think, takes place in Toontown as a sort of universe deal with Robert Rabbit. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. You need to find the Ebony Key to go with the Ivory Key. <laughs> I actually think there is an Ebony Key in this game. Uh, so they come together in perfect harmony. We're gonna find out. Alright, I did save it, right? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Ah, okay, now the Marble Key. They make you get both. So we needed both. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this boss. In fact, let's just do this so that when I die, we don't have to open the doors again. Ah! Yeah. yeah, you got to avoid that head and go for the tail. And it's fast. <laughs> So, fun fact, this monster actually comes back, save and then get wrecked. Oh, yeah, I knew. I knew. There we go. 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 It really does. It's awesome. <laughs> So good. And there we go. We got our first Book of East. This must be the Book of East that Sarah was talking about. Yes. In case we, you know, forgot why we were playing to go through this whole bullshit. All right. Now we need to just get the fuck out of here without dying. But I think at this point, we've actually gotten everything we need to out of the shrine. So yeah, this is the first fucking dungeon. <laughs> Eyes, we escape. Alright. I could try to read that uh, Book of East, but Adol can't read it yet. Man, these, these fucking, fucking walking head monsters creeped me out as a kid. I was just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Here. Wow, we just gained like two levels in that whole exchange. Two from the boss and one, uh, like one from right there. Gaining levels here. And it's taken me a couple of minutes, but I think, you know, now that we're done with the dungeon, I remember the layout now. <laughs> For the most part. As I say that and then go the wrong way. 
You have found an artifact known as the artifact. <laughs> the things you do for the Koobies. <laughs> I mean, just little details like how authentic the dripping of the water sounds. So good. And now I think we're actually due for the mine. So we could, I think we could survive the monsters in the mine now. We needed to be level like, what are we now? We're level 12. But yeah, when we were trying to go in there at like level one, we were just getting our ass beat mercilessly. Hope to escape the shrine is here. Uh, I don't think there's anything new for Fina. Told me that I could stay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I regret talking to you already. Oh my god, make it stop. <laughs> Gotta love the 80s. Oh no, I accidentally talked to you and now I'm stuck in the text loop. Village girl told me that when she was walking, um, oh, right, I gotta go to Sarah. She's the one that told me to get the book. I'm going, I'm skipping ahead. I'm, I'm actually skipping ahead here. That's, yeah, no. Oh, perfect. She can actually read it. Which book do you want me to read? Yes, read volume Hadel. I remembered that she could read the books. Damn it, Hadel. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the prosperity of ease began with the creation of a magical metal known as Claria. On the highest mountain stands Solomon Shrine, which symbolized the great wealth of East. The land of East was ruled by two goddesses and six priests. The goddesses were the embodiment of our health and happiness. Yeah, the books are pretty short. Nope, nope, I know. Husband Luda's gone. I will keep an eye out for Luda. Now we just curb stomp these guys. I don't even need to worry about coming in as an angle anymore. The beauties of leveling up. We'll see Sarah first, and then we'll uh, we'll buy some equipment. The shop is empty. There is only a letter addressed to you. Dear Adol, I guess I learned too much about the secret books of East. If they find me, I'll be killed. There is something very important I must give you. I will leave it with the poet, Lair. Please find her soon. One more thing. The crystal reads that one of the books is in the abandoned mine. Please take care, Adol, and head for the mine as soon as you can. Love, Sarah. So yeah. Um, I mean, granted, it's a little vague because it says if they find out, I'll be killed. But yeah, no, she she got killed. She, the, the, the monsters found her and they killed her. Um, each goddess only got three priests each. Yeah, right? Each priest worked two days a week with the seventh day being part of a rotating schedule. <laughs> um, I think I already bought the good armor and I already got a good shield and I just bought the katana. Didn't I buy the katana? Yeah, I've got a katana, I've got a good shield. Oh, I've got plate armor. We could theoretically buy the better armor. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. We got money to burn. Let's just buy the reflex armor. I mean, at some point we probably will find the silver armor, but at this point I don't want to mess around. Considering I haven't played this game in 30 years, so I don't remember where exactly the silver armor is. But I mean, it's not too much of a stretch that there will be silver armor. Um, so this is the reflex armor. Perfect. So we're good to go here. And now our defense is 49, our strength is 44. So 44 is basically our offense and 49 is defense. I don't know why they call it strength and defense, but whatever. They should have just called it attack and defense. That. Let's sell. Actually, let's go in here. Yeah, let's buy medicine. Yeah, it's a thousand, but it's worth it. I wasted the thousand because I freaking spent it, but oh well. 
We can go over here. Didn't I get something that I could sell? Yep, perfect. Good. Good. Okay. Buy. <sighs> oh, right. The silver armor is, is... Right, you can't buy it here. That's okay. Um, this wing, you can instantly come back here. Yeah, let's do that. Just to spare us some trouble. Um, and yeah, sure, we'll do that. Perfect. Good. Now we got some good items. That was a good use of all that money. We'll go to Lair. And we'll see whatever... It, this should be a Book of East, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Sarah did ask me to give you something, but you must first find my silver harmonica. God damn it! Find your own harmonica! <laughs> so the joke there is, um... In the outtakes for the East anime... The voice actor for Adol basically was like, go find your own fucking harmonica or something hilarious. It's so great. But all right, so once we pick up the harmonica, we can get whatever Sarah left for Lair. It's not like Sarah left me something important for no fucking reason, Lair. Better be some fucking important harmonica. don't think we can talk to the rotatory yet. We need the rotatory nut. Yep. So, time to go to the abandoned mine. Not forgetting anything, right? No? Not forgetting anything? I think we're gonna go to the mine now. Oh, God. The one in the fucking blues traveler? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, God. All right, this fucking mine. I remember getting so lost in this mine as a kid. I remember getting so fucking lost in here. All right, but we could now we now we can fucking help kill these things. Whoops! I already took damage. Ugh! I already took fucking damage. Let's just heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it! This fucking mine. And every East game has a mine in it. It's, it's, I don't know why they always have a mine, but there is always a fucking mine. But at least now we don't die instantly. Damn it. Oh, hate these fucking things. But at least they don't kill us outright. So maybe if we could figure out what's in this treasure chest over here, if I could get to it. Ugh. God. Well, there's the treasure chest I was trying to get to. Really? Really? Well, at least it did as a solid and it didn't waste the seal potion, but that still sucks. That was the fucking treasure chest I was thinking of. A fucking heal potion. Seriously? God damn it. I feel like... Maybe it was to the right. Maybe it was to the right. <sighs> but yeah, part of the, what makes the mine difficult is you can only see a certain period of uh, of the mine. Um, the timer rate. Don't RPGs in general start always have a mine? That is true. Oh, oh God. A mine is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> That's awful, Dark Star. <laughs> but yeah, the Mines of Narsh are a classic. That is a great dungeon. And I love how you go back to it. All right, so the timer ring is important for a boss, but other than that, it's kind of a useless ring. All right, let's avoid that fucker. Uh, I just healed you, bastard. Just healed. Oh, I hate those fucking things. God damn, they've already fucking whittled me down to like half my health already. Oh my god, I hate these things. Come on. Come on. Oh, bastard. Shit, I may have to use that other fucking heal potion if I can't. Oh, God. Oh, this fucking thing. So, this side of the mine 
connects to this side of the mine, we are probably going to run circles to this fucking segment here. We're going to run so many seg circles through that. Let me try and get out and heal. Oh, all right, good. That thing gave up. I think we can get out. Whoops. Can't get out, but we got another treasure chest. Oh, there's the silver armor. Okay. I'm so glad I just spent 6,000 gold on that fucking armor. Damn it. Couldn't remember. Couldn't remember. Now I'm wishing I'd kept that money. Uh, that makes you sick, but oh well. All right, let's save. At least we'll take less damage. All right, let's try to get out of the mine. I think if I can and heal for free and not die from that fucking thing. Pretty sure if we go up this way and around, we get to the exit. Yep, good. Okay, I remembered that part. Okay, let's heal for free. The silver armor was the treasure chest I was trying to get to. That is exactly, I just totally misremembered where it was. Completely misremembered. Yeah, yeah, run, Seraph, run! Delayed reaction. <laughs> uh, God damn it. All right, let's go to the right. See if there's, oh, there might not be anything to the right. Nope, there isn't anything to the right. Okay, so let's go around this way and let's begin running in circles. Because nothing's more fun than Seraph running in circles. I don't think this is the way I wanted to go. Nope. Ah, damn it. Nope. Right? Nope. nope. It is so easy to get lost in this fucking place. So, fuck. Okay, I think I remember now. This whole thing is just one big. Yeah, I may as well just get the XP for you since you already did the damage. We need to go back up this way. Uh, don't kill me! Don't kill me! You little shit! Fine! <laughs> Go back over here to the exit. What is life but a series of circles that we constantly run until we die? <laughs> right? Oh my god. This fucking mine. I do have memories. Nightmares might be more accurate of this mine and getting lost in it. It didn't do that much damage to me. Go up and then around, I think. Right? Yep. Down. This should be down. Nope. This way. Nope. Fuck. I'm gonna make the same fucking wrong mistake every fucking time, aren't I? Ow! Oh, shit. so fast. Now granted, the timer ring will slow it down, but... But I don't think enough to for it to really matter. Good grief. Yeah. Mine definitely is a uh, dungeon of attrition, for sure. You take so much damage just trying to figure out where the fuck you're going. Right, you know what? I might actually save here. Because this, this if I remember, is fairly, fairly important milestone. All right, let's go this way. Although I think there's a way you could do a circle in that. Be mistaken. 
Nope. Okay, that's the way down. All right. Okay. Mine basement two. Let's go to the left first. All right. Tougher monsters, because you know, the ones above weren't weren't bad enough. And of course, the mine being the way it is, there could be doors like below, and you don't really know. Well, that monster wandered off. Right, you could just immediately go and miss this entire floor. Problem is, there are important things on this floor what we need. So unfortunately, I have to get lost. Wandering around, looking for shit. Oh. Fucker. So one of the things I might do in the event that we get too injured is I could use the healing potion. Ah, the rotary seed. Okay, that is critical. So one of my strategies with this, if I get down too far health-wise, I'm going to just use a healing herb because they only cost a thousand at this point. And then once I get down far enough again, I'm just going to use a wing to teleport back to Minia Town, and we'll, I'll just buy another wing, and I'll buy another healing potion, just so that we don't lose progress, and then we could just try to go through it again. It kind of sucks to have to go through the mine so many times, but the Rota Tree Seed is really fucking important. Yeah, yeah, this. That's why I remember it so well. Every floor has one of those fucking things, so it all looks the same. No, oh, don't, don't kill me. Uh, you know what? Let's not mess around. Yeah. Let's just, let's just do it. Uh. Considering I just used it, let's save. I think I actually want to go up here. Oh, about to go in a circle. I'm about to start one of my many circles of this floor. <laughs> it fucking begins. <laughs> oh my god, I just, I was almost about to do, ah! No, don't, don't kill me, motherfucker. Little bastard. Oh my god. I hate the mine so much. <laughs> I hate this mine so much. Ah, right. What were you guarding? Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Here's the cool part. Okay, now we can just switch rings and just heal for free. And we'll just keep switching. That's not so bad. All right, now we don't have to fucking flee every, every two seconds. That just made us much more survivable. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Now, as long as I don't get my ass kicked too fast, should be okay. Is there anything else on this level that we need? I think the silver harmonica... Ow! Bastard. I want to say the silver harmonica is in the mine somewhere. Like that. Can't get my ass kicked like that. Uh, that's right. We're here. And now we're back here. Yep. Let's just have fun with this. <laughs> Ay, caramba. Fortunately, this is a fairly safe zone. Now I think we've gotten everything here. I want to say we did go in the circle already, so let's head back this way and try to find the way back down. I think we got everything we need to here. Damn it. Uh, I think I went down 
Didn't I go down this way already? I think I went down this area. But it's, yeah, it's a dead end. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> this brings back memories, man. And believe it or not, this is not even the biggest dungeon of this game. Um, so one of the cool parts... Nope, I just went up instead of down, didn't I? Shit. Hold on. One of the things... The silver harmonica is the long-lost treasure of the legendary bard Popper. <laughs> Alright, so yep, I'm at mine depth one. So we go down back to mine depth two and then we go around this way and the stairs down are like right over here yep perfect all right mine depth three okay and hopefully we didn't miss anything on hopefully we didn't miss anything on uh level two but I feel like we've wandered around a bit on level two. Oh, you little shit. Yeah, this part gets a little dicey because a monster could just show up while I'm sitting still. That's when you're definitely your most vulnerable. Already forgotten where the door is. Yeah, that's helpful. Once I find a fairly safe spot. I'll do a heal ring and save. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, right. The water and that treasure chest is super important. I don't remember why. Show back up. Fuck with you. Now I need to go around this way. Somehow. Eventually. Okay. Save here, because that's the direction I need to go. Bumping. <laughs> treasure chest. I think this is a key. I think. Yep, the darn key. Right. Let's just save here while we've got it. But we still don't have our book of East that we came here for. We don't have the silver harmonica. Ugh. This place isn't bad enough without all the fucking monsters constantly attacking us. Oh, jeez. we not die? Now you see why they gave us a heal ring. It's, uh... Enemies just start wrecking our shit constantly. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> well, we needed a heal potion anyway. So that was nice of it. I'm so lost, though. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going now, though. Uh, is this the way I came? Nope. I think this is... Let's wander this general direction. Let's just wander through the dark. And hope we eventually find something good. <laughs> Thankfully, the music is perfect atmospheric. One of the best. Um, whoa, that guy was coming. Oh, shit. Hey, guy. You need to, like, chill, man. Let's uh, heal. Um, one of the other really good mine tracks, I would call it, was um, 
from GoldenEye 64. The, um, the Caverns, I think it's called? That was really, really good. I'm trying to remember the exact level. Phoenix Fade to Black, I'll remember. We played the shit out of that game. That is a game, uh, so that I don't think has uh, aged, uh, unfortunately, really well. And for the most part, I would say that when it came out, we regarded that as the best FPS shooter of all time. Uh, okay. Okay. So, fun fact, when I was playing this, the remake on Steam, this boss is actually unbeatable, depending on your frame rate. Uh, I ultimately didn't experiment with it enough to find the frame rate that actually worked with it. I was just like, fuck this shit, flip table. Because also the Steam version level caps you at level 10. Level caps you at level fucking 10. Now, mind you, May I point out, but well, before I go downstairs to get a thing of soda, we are level 14. Now, I don't know if the levels are exactly equitable here, but that's bullshit. <laughs> that is total fucking bullshit. So the entirety of East 1 is level capped at level at level 10. We haven't even gotten to the, we would have been capped already, even at those of this boss, and we haven't even gotten to the mega dungeon that's after this. So give me like one or two minutes to get uh, another soda and probably some water here. And I'm going to be right back, folks. Give me two seconds. Uh, give me about two minutes. Okay, I have returned. Uh, all right. Excellent. See, unfortunately, I do not recommend the Steam version for very obvious reasons. <laughs> right. Controller. Okay. Yeah, let's save. Oh, and we'll also... So the timer ring slows down the boss. And makes it a little more possible. Oh, you little bastard. Hey, oh, that's cheap as shit. Come on. There we go. Oh, you little bastard. Hey, I didn't think you'd kill me that fast. You know what? Maybe I will keep... Maybe I will keep the armor ring on. Jeez. Let's try that. I, if I remember correctly, though, now it seems like it's the same speed. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? You're, you're 
you're gonna do me like that right now, huh? Damn. I do remember this guy being a bastard. I remember this sucking so much. Oh, and he does so much fucking damage to you. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't get him that fast. Fortunately, when you get in there, you'll do a shit ton of damage to him. Damn, really? Well, shit. This isn't good. Maybe I need to come at it from a different angle? Maybe I remember this differently. Come on. Jeez, man. I remember hating the fuck out of this boss, though. He's only vulnerable when um, he consolidates into that one single fucking bat. It's really annoying. Yeah, he's just gonna kill me. Whatever, just kill me. Yeah, thanks. Now you consolidated the fucking bat thing. But, um, yeah, for the most part, you come at him for the top, and you'll just do a shit ton of damage to him, and then it's, and then it's just game over. I'm a little worried that I haven't found the power ring. I hope I don't need the power ring to kill this guy. But I don't think, despite the fact... Why? Oh, my God. Did I miss something? Shit. Hi, cat. I love you, kitty kitty. Hmm. Well... We're not doing any damage to him, are we? And we're not doing jack shit of damage to him. Oh, uh, I really... It took so long to get down here. Now, I know something we can do, but... Oof. I really hope that's not going to be required for this. Is there anything I may have missed? Shit, man. Let's just try this one or two more times. Yeah, not a single HP, right? But I can't even do a single bit of damage to him. It just... It just goes clink, clink, clink. Yeah, we're not doing any damage to him. Maybe if I go to the very top? Wow, man. This guy is just fucking wrecking my shit. Uh, if this doesn't work, we're gonna leave the dungeon and do one thing and see if... Uh, yeah, that death gets pinned on the cat. <laughs> Draco douche. You know, I'm gonna call this guy Draco douche from now on. So you know what? Maybe the Steam version. Maybe it's not impossible. Um, because I I had this was my experience with uh, the Steam version. It just wouldn't. I see. I remember being able to. I feel like that's how you destroy this guy. That's the window, and you have to. I feel like you have to come in through the top though. We came in through the side, and that didn't work, right? I'm gonna try this. I'm just gonna try a couple of different things. Bear with me. And then if not, we'll, we'll, we'll withdraw. Come on. Yeah, that's a shitty draw. It's gonna do a bunch of damage to it. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> that was just bad luck. I couldn't escape the cloud at that point. I mean, it could also try to gain a level too. This thing is just brutal. I remember not liking this boss even, you know, as a kid. Yep. Okay. Can't come in through the bottom. Yeah, it's just click, click, click. So it tells me we're missing something. Oh, yeah, he's gonna kill us. All right. Let's do the wing. We'll get outside, and we'll have to go back through the mine. Um, maybe this requires... I feel like I did this when I tried playing this years upon years upon years ago. But who knows? Maybe I didn't. But let's, let's do the wing. Let's go to Minia Town. We'll buy another wing. It's like the Yellow Devil from Mega Man, but bats. And with more pain. Seriously. This thing is brutal. But we've got the Rota Tree Nut, so now we can do something that will help. But we've got more than enough money, so we'll just buy another wing. It's really not that big, big a deal. We have a... Would help if I used the right button. Didn't exit. Yep, we're gonna buy a wing. Yep, that's fine. That's true. I should equip the mirror and try to use that and at least do some amount of damage to him for free. 
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the goons got Sarah. She's dead. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, right, wrote a tree nut. Wait, what was that? That was different. There's a steep ridge to the north. Oh, yeah, this the thieves. Yeah, you, I knew that. I knew that. Oh, right, I also forgot to give the bell back. There might be an important item that the that he gives us. Didn't, forgot about that. But uh, now that we've got, oh, um, I think save this. Go up to the inventory. Is it sufficient to just have the seed on us? Maybe. I tried eating the rota tree seed, but it didn't do anything. I think once we just have it. There we go. You understand the language of nature, don't you? My name is Rhoda. Let me tell you a secret of Asteria. There is a silver sword buried at the foot of my brother. So now we're going to go to the other Rhoda tree, get the silver sword, and maybe that's what we need to defeat uh, Draco Douche. Fuck you, little hellhound bastard. Have you tried? <laughs> no, no, I have not. Didn't even occur to me. I'd rather die. <laughs> we have enough money to disrupt the local and global economy. Yes, we do. Destruction will once again plague the land of East. Violence will reign chaos. I can feel it in my roots. It is time for you to set out on your journey, young man. Godspeed. Shining light flows out from the roots of the tree. And just like that, we now have the silver sword. So maybe that's what we needed, right? You know, who knows? Maybe we needed the silver sword. Wouldn't that be nice? Of course, now we gotta go through the whole fucking mine again! Well, let's return the bell. I totally forgot to do that. That's important. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Great, you've returned the silver bell. What? It wasn't in the thieves' nest? But it was hidden in the shrine? Well, I don't understand. Anyway, the important thing is we have the bell back. Oh, we gained a level, cool. As a show of my appreciation, let me present you this ring. This is probably the power ring. Your strength will be greatly increased when you wear this ring, yep. There's our power ring. I was wondering where that was. So we could try those and see if uh, that helps us with Dracodouche. Why don't I go up to the thieves' den and see if they tell me anything different since we're already over here. I don't think they will tell me anything different, but we'll look anyway. We can kill some bastards while we're up here. At least we're higher level now. So once we start doing damage to the fucking bat... I mean, unless I was so low level that I just couldn't do any damage to the bat. I suppose that's possible, but... Uh, I've never heard of a thing where you're so low level you can't even remotely do damage to it. Hey, where did you find that mask? That mask is very special as it allows you to see the passages that we mortals cannot. So if you couldn't figure out that, yeah, that's that's all that was. So just in case we didn't figure out how to use it to open up the secret passage in the shrine, he would have told you how to do that there. All right. So now we go back to the fucking mine and try to find Draco Douche. Oh god. This fucking mine! <laughs> so not even the mega dungeon of this game. Now mind you, the mega dungeon is actually just up by the, the thieves' uh, den. There is a 25 story tall... Oh fuck, I didn't mean to go near this guy. Yep. Assuming I didn't miss that room, which is possible. I may have missed that room. Okay. So let's head back up to the mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Save. Yeah. Save. Okay, back into the mine. Let's try this again. This time with uh, less fail. Pretty sure we have to go over this way. At least this time we seem to be handling those guys a little better. A little higher level now. Is there 
there anything in here that we may have missed? I feel like we were fairly thorough with the mine. I'm still a little worried that we don't have the silver mar harmonica, and I thought the silver harmonica was down here somewhere. I could be mistaken. I mean, it has been literally 30 years since I played this game. <laughs> Despite the appearances, though, I actually am having a lot of fun. It's not only just nostalgia, and in spite of the bump system, this game is fun. I kind of like the difficulty involved. I don't like the fact that I couldn't even do a single damage to the Draco douche thing, but maybe that's telling me I was missing something. Maybe it's telling me I needed the silver sword, and uh, maybe it did require that. I mean, that would be good game design, right? Require this the silver sword, won't even let you do a damage point of damage, and makes it really obvious that um, there's something needed, I hope. Hey, give me XP. You have juicy XP. Give me your XP. There we go. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, except for the fact that you only see so little in this dark ass mine. I am so lost. I am so lost. I'm gonna wander around this. God damn it, I'm wandering around the same fucking passages. Time after time, I'm probably making the same fucking mistake. Each and every time, and Seraph never fucking learns! <laughs> I am too, I totally am, I know I am. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the fucking beginning again, aren't I? Yep, I'm I'm almost at the fucking yeah, I, I just went back all the way to the fucking beginning. Let's just re let's just reheal. Let's just reheal. We'll regroup, we'll go back in there. <laughs> I may as well keep the XP I just got. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Why can't I remember the way? I mean, other than the fact that you can't really see and everything looks the same. I mean, except for those things. Uh, am I supposed to go that way? Maybe I'm supposed to go down that first passage down instead of going all the way to the right. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way and maybe that brings me to that passage that is larger. Uh, maybe or not. Let's go over it. Oh God, dead ends. Dead ends galore. And of course, there's another mine in the East too, as well. Oh, fucker. Okay, I think that's important, because if I'm remembering correctly now, we go this way. Yep, okay. And then the way down is over here. Okay. Okay, good deal. Heal ring. Armor ring, we take less damage. Way down will be right over here. Uh, right? I think that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Perfect. Yep, down, and then we just go around. Could be worse. Yeah, right? Items could be randomized. Yeah, like the randomizers, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I know, that evil would be terrible. Thank goodness the dungeons are not procedurally generated. These are bad enough. Um, these are fucking bad enough being designed this way. God, if this shit changed each time? Although at this point, it's been 30 years. It's not like I fucking remember this shit anyway. Um, but I do vaguely remember going to the next mega dungeon, and if you don't get a certain item, and I don't remember if I'm remembering this correctly either. You know, that's part of the trick of it. I, I don't, I don't really remember if this memory is accurate or not, but I want to say that if you don't get a certain item in here, you could be locked out of uh, something in the next mega dungeon. Um, and you could get to a point where you just get stuck entirely, which obviously sucks. Um, and then you have to basically reload a save. So one of the things I will be doing um, when I, um, when we do get to the next dungeon will be to save before going in it, because there's a point of no return. Because once you enter the dungeon, you can't leave. And, um, you know what? There's nothing else over here. Let's just heal. Um, and I'll just do a new save. Once we find... Once we find the boss dungeon again, I think I'm going back the way I just came, aren't I? I think I am. 
Not really sure. It wasn't too bad, though. Uh, I think I just went in a circle, didn't I? Yep, I just went in a circle. Is Yep, we go down this way, and that's a dead end. But let's just make sure that I'm remembering it correctly. Nope, I'm so glad I didn't... All right. Let's try this again. Heal ring. Okay. You know what? Let's just do the power ring. Maybe we'll... Maybe it requires the power ring? I don't think so, though. I think I'd rather do the armor ring. If I remember correctly, though, maybe I did require the timer ring, but let's... Because I want to say the timer ring made it go slower or something, but whatever. Inventory. Let's go to the mirror. And save. Okay, let's try this again. Multiple saves. What is this, a Bethesda game? <laughs> oh, God. Nope, it doesn't let me use the mirror. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Come on. We do damage to him now, though. That's what it was. We needed the fucking, um... We needed the silver sword. That's exactly what that shit was. All right. So let's... So it doesn't let you use the mirror. That is super lame. Doesn't let you use an item in a boss battle. That sucks. All right, it's okay. In later East games, they let you actually use items. Let's, oh, uh. Yeah, let's go with the power ring. Maybe we'll do more damage to him because he does so much damage to us anyway. Oh, no, okay, we can't go at him for the bottom. We do have to come at it for the top. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Ugh. Whoops. Did I not? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think I equipped the... Damn it. All right. We can't attack you up there. Come on, buddy. Down here. Down here. Yep. Perfect. Oh, you little bastard. All right. Well, we still managed to get him. Just not enough. You know what? I, just, I think I just need to do some... I just need to farm for levels now. I'm just not high enough level yet. Okay. Because, yeah, we're not doing nearly enough damage to him. We're not doing nearly enough damage to him. Okay, but you know what? This is okay. This is okay. Unless we try one more... Let me try the power ring one more time. Let's just see if we can do it anyway. Come on, buddy. Down here. Down here, you little bastard. Oh, you little shit. Ooh, that was a good exchange. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, we got this guy. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, that's all right. We got him now. Oh, you shithead. Ah, <laughs> we almost had him. But we've, we've got it figured out, though. We need the power ring and the silver sword. Okay, but we're, we're good now. We're good. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right, we got this. We got this. We're gonna set that. We're gonna save so I don't have to change it each time. Um. Also, his cloak is completely open. Yeah, that's yeah. True. True. I and now that I remembered, he does have to be completely open, and that's the only opening you've got to actually do damage to him. Um. Yep. That's exactly right. Um. I am level 15. So we're, apparently we are high enough level. I just have to do this. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, I missed it. Damn it. Ah, fuck, you just kill me. I fucked up. We've got him, though. We know it can be done. As long as Seraph doesn't fuck up. Don't fuck up, Cloud! Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I missed it again. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's all right. We got him. We got him. We know it could be done because we did like 75% damage to... Oh, that sucks so bad. Damn it. 
Oh, come on. Bad RNG in this case. Yeah. Fucked up. It's all right. We got this. Assuming I don't just go out to farm a level or two. Oh, you shithead. Come on. Oh. Hate it when it does that. That's a bad roll here. Come on, give it to me. There we go. Yeah, not not good enough. I fucked up too many times. Yeah, now he's got me. Goddamn motherfucking douchebag, son of a bitch, RNG. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad pattern. Oh, you're on. You're, oh, I, I guess you're on a guide or something. You're like one level below recommended. We're gonna try one more, and then we'll just farm for a levels here. I know it could be done. We almost had it one time. Oh, all right, not this time. <laughs> Just let it kill us that way. The RNG is on the third 16 failed. I want to try and beat him one level below if we can, though. Yeah, sometimes you do get bad luck with patterns. Ah. Oh. oh, and then he doesn't consolidate sometimes. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, all right, let's just gain a level. I'm obviously... A little under leveled. It's fine. We'll go out. We'll gain a level. Really would have preferred to uh, have done that. That's all right. We need we need 42 XP. That's really not that big a deal. Get it pretty quick. We'll level up and then we'll try it again. I remember him being one of the more difficult bosses in the game, actually. So it's nice to know that my memory was solid on that one. Whoa. Let's not do that. For some reason, I remember the timer ring being helpful on that one, but I don't remember why, and I don't remember if I'm remembering it wrong or not. We're we'll just going here because it's safe. I could be thinking of a different boss, and I could be thinking of a different um, game, too. Uh, all you have is the silver sword. Yeah, I've got the silver armor. Uh, as a matter of fact, the past 20 minutes never happened. Yeah, right? No editor. Erase the previous 25 minutes from the VOD based on the common timestamp. <laughs> yeah, you may as well. You're here now. Um, but yeah, we've got the silver art. We got the silver sword. Uh, and that's actually when I when I was remembering because I knew as soon as we had the Rota Tree nut that I could go back to the Rota Tree and get the silver sword. So apparently we did need the silver sword just to do damage to him. Um, we picked up the silver armor in the mine. And the silver shield we actually picked up in the Solomon Shrine. Uh, oh, why, thank you, Deep Fry 55 for the follow. I do appreciate that. You got us in a moment where we're, uh, where we're kind of farming. But, um, welcome. Welcome. Feel free to chat to your heart's content. We're friendly. And, uh, how is your lovely Sunday evening going? Let's see. Yep. Two more... Two or three more of these little bastards, and we'll be, one, and we'll be level 16. There we go. La la la. One more. Hey, you. Oh, okay. One. Now one more. <laughs> now I mean. Now I mean the whole one more thing. <laughs> hey. Oh, little bastard. Okay. Let's try that again. We'll heal, and we'll try and do it again. This time with a little less fail. <laughs> You know what, that one's one not, not too bad. Just about experience East 1 for the first time, looking for tips. So, I played this on the original Turbo Graphics console when I was like 10. It's been like 30 years since I played this. So, some parts of it come back to me. Like, I found, um, like early on, there is a golden vase that's on the uh, edge of the water. Essentially, if you're near there and you, and you activate the button, uh, you press the 2 button, I think. Probably the 1 button, now that I think about it. Uh, Adol will go in and you can get some quick money and that'll help you buy equipment. It saves you a little trouble, um, uh, saves you a little trouble with farming very, very early on. Um, so that would be, that would be a good one. Welcome to the pain hole. <laughs> yeah, right? So this is one of the more difficult bosses of the game. Don't let this deter you from, from playing this classic game. This is one of my 
favorite games and it got me hooked on the whole East series. Now I do think East 8 is the best of them so far, but uh, I think this holds up considering this was released in North America in 1990 and made in, um, in 1989. So let's go, yeah, I think we'll, we'll do the power ring. I think that worked for us the best. We're going to save and then we're going to die some more. Uh, this is the exception, not the rule. So there's actually 10 of them, Phoenix Fade to Black. Uh, nine have been released so far, and in about a month, the 10th one comes out. I may take a vacation from work to play East 10 Nordics because I love these fucking games. And so one of the things about East, most franchises, in my opinion, usually start off pretty hot, but and, and they sort of get milked over time. Some stay strong or whatever. East bucks the trend. In my opinion, each game that's come out has usually been better than the one before it. Um, even East 9, which I don't consider the best in the series, was really, really freaking good. Um, yeah, oh yeah, they are still making them. So, fun story, I actually managed to get a PS2 emulator and I got an ISO of Ark of Nepishtim since my PS2 no longer works and Lad is still borrowing my copy of Ark of Nepishtim. So if anybody had a PS2 and I could get my game back from a lad, I theoretically could have get hooked it up to a, um, to a uh, game capture and done it that way, which would have been really fun. But I am looking forward to playing this, the original TurboGrafx version of East 3, and I'm uh, planning to play East 6 Ark of Nepishtim. And depending on how things go, I've got the, um, the remake on PS... Well, it's a PS4 game, but I've, I could play it on my PS5. Uh, East 5 uh, Memories of Salsetta. And um, if I could get East 7 to work, East 7's on Steam, but I can't get the fucking thing to run correctly. All you see is like a white splash screen and that's like it. So unfortunately I can't get East 7 to run. Otherwise I would play that too. Yeah, but still apply generous amounts of lube to your soul. <laughs> yeah, some of, some, of the mon some of the bosses can be can be tricky. Um, this once we're past this one, for the most part, we should be in good shape. But this one ends up being a little, a little tricky, which you'll see in a second. Yeah, I knew you'd do that to me. Come on, you little fucker. Oh, oh, you little bastard. Oh, you clipped me. That's so close. We're gonna die. Yep, yep. We totally died there. That was, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, more death. More death! <laughs> See, what it really should be playing here is, um... Is, uh, fucking... What's that song? Oh, we got it. Ah, oh, I couldn't get there in time! Fuck! <laughs> um... <laughs> Blind Guardian, welcome to dying! That would be very appropriate for this boss. <laughs> Damn it. We still did more damage to him than he did to us, but... Ultimately, it's not going to be worth it because of that shit. Yeah, I couldn't get away from him fast enough. But you can see it can be done. It's just the timing is very precise. Um, you do have to be just very exact with it. And sometimes you don't get a great pattern. Oh, that sucks. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we need to do that. We need to do that more. Oh, you fucker. Damn. <laughs> and we could go out and we could just get another level and make our lives easier. And we may do that if we continue to die a lot. Oh, I thought he was gonna... Ooh, you tricked me twice. Damn it. Thought I would time it better there. Didn't. Ugh. Couldn't get at it in and out of that fast enough. Let me try the timer ring though, because for whatever reason, I do seem to remember. I do seem to remember that helping out. I don't know if this slows this boss down or not. Well, that so far doesn't seem like it's been a great plan, but oh, come on. And he likes to do this shit where he doesn't consolidate at all. Let me try that one more time. I 
really do feel like I remember that, but I could just be totally misremembering it after years of not playing this game. Oh, no, no, we definitely want that. I could be sabotaging myself doing that too, because we don't do as much damage. But I think... I really do... I feel like he stays vulnerable. Oh, shit! I think he stays vulnerable longer when you got the timer ring active, and I feel like either we're getting weird patterns... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> yeah, it's a war of attrition. You just, you gotta get in, you gotta get out. Um... You know, again, I could make my life easier and level up a little bit, but I feel like we're high enough level now, we should be able to do this. Damn it. Didn't get it out fast enough on that one. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, that was a horrible pattern. He fucked us on that one. I don't know if that timer ring really is doing that or not. I might not be doing myself any favors there. Let's just stick with the power ring. I probably am not- Oh, shit. Shit, shit! Oh, that sucks so bad! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright, we'll do two more attempts. If, if he just kills us really badly and we don't even get close, I'll just- I'll farm another level. Oh, come on! Really? Just kill me. Come on, buddy. That's better. Shit, shit, shit. Shit! It's such bullshit. <laughs> we had such a good start that time. <laughs> yeah, this boss can be brutal just because it can cover half the screen and you're just completely fucked. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this sucks. Yeah. Alright, one more try and then we'll just level up again. Because we could over- we could just over level and then he doesn't do nearly as much damage to us. It just feels kind of cheesy to try to get- oh, that pattern sucks. Oh, wow, we got out of that somehow without taking- oh, well, there it is. Oh, fuck ta Seraph! One more. One more and then we level. I promise the rest of the bosses in this game are not as bad as this guy. Oh man, come on. If I could get out of dying there... Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. All right, fine. We level up. But it, it obviously can be done. It can be done. Now, who knows? Maybe I'm just being... Maybe I'm getting heinously unlucky with the, um... with the patterns. But, I mean, we got to a point where there were a bunch of times where we did, like, half the damage to him and we didn't get hit at all. So, um, I feel like we really should be able to beat him. Maybe I just was really unlucky and also fucking up. Okay, where are the enemies? Let's just, let's just farm a quick level here. It's honest work. We'll just farm really fast. We'll gain an extra level. We really should be leveled enough to do it, but it's all right. Let's just do this, and then we'll. Uh... And then we really should have a, a much easier time, because then he doesn't kill us in like two hits. But even still, uh, obviously it's it's tricky when the boss literally takes up half the screen, and you only have you know, a very finite window where he opens that cloak. And of course, 
I do remember that being tricky because if you're too close, he won't consolidate. So you have to be a little far away. And then as you, once he commits to consolidating, then you have to close in and that's time you're not there, obviously. And uh, it further limits the window that you can do damage to him. And uh, it is pretty precise. And of course, when you're dealing with a bump system, not exactly the uh, not exactly the easiest thing. But once we're once we're past him, bear with me here. Once we're past this goon, uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be in good shape. And the rest of the bosses are 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 not nearly as bad. Hell, even the last boss of East One is not as bad as this guy. Actually, I I think one of the end boss, the last boss of this. Now, mind you, he's tough, but it, it, but it's it's you know it's very doable, especially if you know what you're doing. Um, in my humble opinion, the end boss of East One is one of the best bosses of all time. And it's got one of the best boss battle music uh, tracks of all time. So we're probably not going to get to the end of East One tonight, just because it's already 10 o'clock. Um, I would like to at least get to the next... I would like to at least get to the Mega Dungeon if we can. Let's see. Oh, bastard. Yeah, unfortunately, this guy has taken up... Uh, this, this fucking bat monster has really fucked our progression. But that's okay, it happens. Actually, I feel like I'm actually doing pretty good, considering I remember, you know, literally, it's literally been 30 years since I played the game. So, all things considered, I still consider this a pretty good win for Seraph's memory. All things considered, there should be a monster here. Yep, good. Thank you. And we'll backtrack. It's just a little tedious. I also don't want to wander too far because I don't want to get lost again. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll go over there. We'll heal. Definitely don't want to lose the XP progression I just got. That would really super suck. Let's heal. We're almost there. La 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 la. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Why not? We'll just save. Yep. <laughs> Uh, this fucking bastard. Just out of curiosity, Freakbot, does this monster actually have a name since you, uh, since you clearly looked it up? Uh, I, would, I, I am curious to see if it actually does, either, other than Draco Douche. Although I am kind of partial of our, uh, our Draco Douche moniker for this little bastard. Doo -doo -doo. Oops. Yeah, he did a little more damage than I intended, than fucking thought. Do 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 Varmin, varmin, varmin. Just keep on farming. See, it'll be a good rhyme for hide. It's a flag and hide. <laughs> there we go. Farming, farming, farming. Keep that XP coming. If I die again, we're drinking to flag <laughs> It's too many syllables, but you know, that's not too bad. We've reached the madness part of the stream where Seraph starts losing his fucking mind from dying to the boss over and over again. <laughs> Uh, if only people here knew what Teflagonide was. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, I guess we killed that guy. He wandered down. Yep, okay. Yeah, that was you. Fishtail and all. <laughs> That's right. Fishtail and fucking all. We're almost there. We got, what, 200 XP to go here? So we probably got like five or ten minutes of this shit. How did everybody's weekend go while I just wander back and forth killing enemies? <laughs> this is a this is a good time to just catch up. What's going on? How's everybody's evening? Anybody doing anything fun this week? I just try not to go insane. one gold little snake thing, right? That's all. Yep. 
and back. Oh God. It's not really giving us a whole lot of XP. It's taken, this has taken a little longer than I would have liked. It's a shame we couldn't have just killed that guy. Are they only giving us like two XP each? Yeah, they're only giving us like two XP each. So we got to kill like 50 of these fucking things. It's a shame there's not a faster way to do this. It's alright, this will be worth it. I think even this is better than watching me just die over and over and over again. <laughs> Depending on your persuasion. Our professional students with needs. Oh, oh no. Hey Ziltoid, what do we think about wiping a kid's butt? Oh, so lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I gotta start really configuring my uh, soundboard to play a little more sounds. I mean, granted, I do love that one, but I need to get some more variety in here for uh, for some of these. You know what? That actually is probably faster. Let's just keep going back and forth with these guys. Okay, back. Yeah, this is faster. Work enough that I can pay my electric bill, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's important. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> uh, so there's some really good farming spots in this game. This is, this is not one of them. It's a really good one at the start of East 2. This, this is super lame. Stupid Draco douche. Make me just kill your goons outside your lair while you do nothing. All right, I'll get better at the sword and then life will be better. Three days. One more and I've got, the, oh. Oh God, that's, that sucks. That sucks, dude. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ugh. Took way too many hits that time. There. Heal, even though it's only a few. Save. Definitely don't wanna fucking do that again. We're almost there. 60 more XP. There's 30 more of these little fuckers. Home stretch here. Yeah, a lot of these like 80s games and 90s games, they really didn't like kind of encourage you to do this. Although at this point where we should be high enough level for that fucker. Which tells me I do think we are high enough level for it, because there were a couple of times where, depending on the pattern, we didn't take any damage and we took off like half his health. So we know it can happen. We, we know it's doable. It's not like it's impossible. Could be a skill issue. Could also be bad patterns. But either way, we're going to stack the deck a little bit more in our favor. We'll gain one more level, and hopefully that will stack the deck enough where I don't have to die over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Bastard. You. There you are. Bastard. <sighs> Fuck. This is so tedious. <laughs> Bastard. 
I do hate this boss. Granted, there's some bosses that are not fantastic. There's one in particular in um, East 9 that um, that is not a favorite of mine. We actually already fought that boss in here, actually. Um, the snake boss. You fight that again in East 9, and it is way worse in East 9. That is probably my least favorite boss in that game. And I'm like, it wasn't so hard in East 1. Of course, we did have to bat, motherfucker. So at least they didn't bring that shithead back. Alright, we're closing in here. We're closing in, folks. Then we don't have to do this farming shit for at least the rest of this stream. <laughs> we'll be a little overleveled, and then we should have uh, an easy time for the rest of it. And I guess the question is, once we get past this shithead, we'll do some plot. And I guess that would beg the question of, would it make sense to do the Mega Dungeon, to start the Mega Dungeon as of next stream? I think it probably does make sense to start the Mega Dungeon. So the Mega Dungeon is the 25 story tall Darm Tower, which is, in my opinion, one of the best dungeons ever made. Asshole. The music will get a little old, even though it's also fantastic music, but there's very little variation. So by the end of it, it it's, it's, at least for me, I remember it going like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but for the first like half hour, we're gonna be like totally jamming to it. All right, there we go. So we got our level here. It's called the Mega Dungeon, so yeah. <laughs> and the East 2 Mega Dungeon is even worse. Oh my God. All right, so let's take a look. We've got, all right, let's do the power ring. Let's, oh, actually let's do the heal ring. Let's heal up. Let's try this again. Oh God. Please, please, Seraph, try to actually kill this thing this time. Uh, actually, Freakbot, if you're still here, uh, let me know if if that uh, if what you were reading recommends a certain ring or not, because I never actually read any kind of um, because this predated the internet, uh, so it predated things like game FAQs and uh, and all that stuff. So maybe there's a recommendation for ring. I think. The power ring seems to be doing the best for us just with trial and error, but it would be interesting to see if a guide had a specific recommendation for a ring after all these years. Hmm. Still would have been interesting, but I appreciate it. Thank you very kindly. All right, let's do this. All right, you asshole. We've gained a level. Oh, uh, it's the shit fucking pattern again. That, oh my God, it's really fucking us with the pattern. Oh, you bastard. Oh, <laughs> you fucking bastard. Really? Are you serious right now? All right, now it's... Oh, that's dirty pulled. Just kill me. <laughs> I love that. We gained a level. We didn't even do a damn... A one hit point of damage to the fucker. <laughs> it's so lame. Ooh. There we go. Okay. And now he does a lot less damage. Thank you. Oh, Seraph! Damn it! My finger slipped. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm starting to get a little sweaty, so let's wipe off my controller. That's not helpful. And gross. <laughs> Guess I've been doing this for too long. All right. Man, that was a great pattern, too. I totally wasted such a great pattern. Ah! Oh. It totally fucks with you sometimes. There we go. Oh, yep, it's committing. Oh, we almost, almost got it that time. Yeah, that level is definitely helping us, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game over so we can do it again. <laughs> All right. One more time. We're feeling. Come on. Give me a good pattern. Oh, this one. 
That was nice. That's how you fucking do it. Oh, fuck you. We got in that time. Oh, that, this pattern's gonna suck balls. Damn it. Really? Yep. Oh, I thought it was committing that time. Fake me out. This time it's got it. Oh, I thought we got him that time. I overcommitted. Thought I had him. Thought I had him. It's alright. Okay. Really? Ugh. That's a shitty pattern. Still did okay. It's not catastrophic. This run is possible. Damn it. Wasn't... That was my fault. I was not dead on enough. Damn it. I've got this. Well, I'm certainly demonstrating how not to do it so far. Oh. Shit. Okay, now let's just do that three more times. Come on, buddy. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, that was a bad pad. I, I don't think there was any way of getting out of that once he did that. That time I just got fucked. Bad luck. Come on. Oh, fuck. Got it fucked up so bad on that one. Man, this boss sucks. I hate this fucking boss so much. I just promise the rest of this game is better than this. <laughs> yeah, can I just do that every time? Oh, that was so mean. God damn this thing. Yep, he's doing it. Okay. And of course, what doesn't help is that you could be doing so well, you make one, yeah, like that. You make one mistake and you just completely ruin your progress on it. Oh, come on! Give me that one! Shit! <laughs> oh. Got him. Oof. Take that, you fucking brick. <laughs> I really can't talk shit after getting my ass kicked for the past half hour. Maybe longer. <laughs> but damn, that felt good to finally get that bastard. All right, got the volume dabby. But yeah, if you do it right, you, it can be done, but man, it just, it's so easy for that thing to just like, completely fuck you over. All right, so this is the room that the guy was talking about. He was in this room. So anyway, all right, so we got the Book of East that we came in here for. Oh, let's just get the fuck out of here. All right, so equipment, armor, inventory, wing, yes. Fuck yeah. Oh, we still need the fucking silver harmonica. We still need the silver harmonica for the last book. Oh shit. Where's the silver harmonica? All right, Seraph, let's try to remember. Is the silver harmonica in the mine? Did I miss it? Or is the silver harmonica somewhere else? All right, let's, let's go to Septic Village. Let's have, let's have Jeva read volume head all. Let's see if maybe she, for some reason, has the silver harmonica. 
I don't think she does. But let's see. Let's just, for the sake of it, let's just see if she does. It's... Speak with Jeva. Uh, you have a... Oh, you have a book of... Yeah, so let's read Volume Dabby. The carnage came quickly and with no warning. Lava flowed through the land and soon all was ablaze. We believe the creation of Claria was the source of this violent act of terror. Therefore, we buried the Claria deep beneath the ground. If the Claria is ever unearthed, the same tragedy will strike East again. Alright, so we did that. Um... I don't need that. Speak with Fina. Uh, you're gonna say the same thing to me again. Alright. Maybe we'll go to the thieves and say if they have something to say. I don't think they're gonna give me the fucking harmonica. But if not, the harmonica's gotta be... Harmonica's gotta be in the mine somewhere. I must have missed it. Fuck. That means I gotta go with that fucking mine more. Oh, shit. Unless I'm missing the harmonica somewhere else. Let me think. All right, I know it's been 30 years, Brain, but where is the harmonica? Where's the harmonica? Let's see if I can remember. It's probably in the mine. I probably missed it. It's probably in a treasure chest somewhere on the second or third floor. Probably. That's going to be my guess. But let's see. Hey, where'd you find that? Oh, okay, yeah, you just tell me this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could skip this. All right. All right, so back to Minia Town. Let's buy another wing. We certainly have enough fucking gold. Not that we could really spend it on anything, but we'll we'll buy shit, because why not? Hmm. Where the fuck is the silver harmonica? Come on, Seraph, think. It's got it's gotta be in the mine. It's gotta be in the mine. It's gotta be in the mine. Let's see if we can track that down by the end of stream tonight. We still got some time. I'm still feeling nice and awake. We already returned the bell and got some XP for that, so I'm not worried about that. Let's head back here. Boom. Yeah, now at this point, we just curb stomp these fuckers. Actually, Freakbot, do me a favor. Do me a favor and just confirm that the harmonica is in the mine like I think it is, because I'm about to go into the fucking mine and start running in circles. So at least if it's not in the mine, you don't have to tell me where it is. You could just tell me it's not in the mine so I could save myself some fucking grief. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> since I just, since it's really been a struggle to remember. Uh, buy, you don't have it. Let's just buy a wing. Yep, buy that. Pretty sure the harmonica is in the the mine though, and I just I just must have missed it. I mean the mine is huge and it's so easy to get lost. So we took the book we did recover to Jeva. You know what? Why don't I just go to Lair? Maybe she'll say something different. I don't think she will. I'm pretty sure. No, I remember having to Yeah, I remember having to give her the harmonica, so she doesn't do anything different. Yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, I remember how that goes. So I do need to find the silver harmonica. Harmonica is what I need next. And I have the Darm key, which I think the Darm key is the thing that's missable that you need for Darm Tower. That you could get fucked if you don't have it. Can you say anything new? Yeah, you're just gonna say the same thing, aren't you? Yep, you are. Apparently he's in two- Oh, all right, well, thank you. I actually do appreciate that. No, 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 I didn't mean to touch you again. No! <laughs> all right, so we go back to, to, uh, to F. No problem. That's, that's pretty much where I was going to start going. I was going to start working my way back down. So good, I'm on the right track. I do appreciate that ver verification. All right, so we go this way, and instead of going all the way over, we go down this way. Fuck you bastard. I'm not. I'm done with your shit right now. <laughs> All right, so I, I, had a, I, I figured the harmonica had to be in the second floor. We just must have missed it. But it's, uh, you guys can see this shit. Like, it's super easy to get lost in this whole fucking place. I've already forgotten how to get down. All right, maybe we do have to go all the way over. Damn it. All right, so back over this way again. I thought... 
going all the way over was a dead end, though. Watch, I go all the way over and it's a dead end again, and I'm just gonna be like... Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. That's a dead end for sure. Let's head over this way. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, little bastard. But now our defense is high enough where these guys don't kill me even when I make a mistake. So that part's nice. Yep, yeah, it is a dead end. That's what I fucking thought. Unless there's something else over here. No, no, no. All right, well. Back over here. Ugh. God damn it. I hate this mine so fucking much. At least Darm Tower, with as big as it is, you could see where you're going, and you could pr you do eventually, at least, granted, 14-year-old Seraph got to a point where I remembered where I was going. At least I remember remembering where I was going. Um, you do eventually figure it out. This mine, you just keep wandering through it. Okay, now we got through this part, we go up, and then the stairs down. Okay, that part I remember. Okay, so, it's here somewhere. Let's find it. Harmonica time. I don't think we went this way, so let's go this way. I mean, I probably went this way, but maybe not. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 do 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 uh, I'm pretty sure I went through this fucker, because I remember that shit. Yep, there's that. All right, good. Let's continue. The good news is, once we find it, we don't have to worry about finding our way out. That's why I went and bought the wing. So that, um, once we do find this stupid fucking harmonica, we are golden. We could just warp out, and that's it. I just went in a circle. I totally just went in a circle there. Yep, because that's where that fucker was. That's okay. Let's continue on this way a little bit. Actually, this looks a little unfamiliar. That's good. Nope. Fuck. We went through that. Never mind. This way. Backpack. What about over here? Nope. 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 Aha! There's our silver harmonica. I don't know exactly where it is, but they say it's... Yeah, I didn't need to know exactly where it was, because the mine, it's... You can't see where you're going anyway. Um, but no, just knowing it was on the second floor was fucking huge. Alright, so let's take a look. We've got the silver equipment, we've got four rings, our inventory, we've got up to the Darm key, and I think this is the important thing that you can't be missing. There's our silver harmonica, we got a wing, we got a heal potion, we got a mirror, we got our mask of eyes. We're about to get uh, a, vol a volume of East from Lair. We are good to go. Let us use the fucking wing and we're getting the hell out of here. Cool. What? You found my silver harmonica and you have no idea what was involved in getting this fucking thing back, Lair. <laughs> How can I ever thank you? I cannot offer you much, but let me play a special tune for you. Please remember these sweet notes when you think of me. As far as quest rewards go, this is certainly the shittiest of them. <laughs> but we do get two levels for it. And here's the book that Sarah left with me, that you were told to give me, by the way. That's okay. Thank you very much. If there's anything I could do for you, please let me know. Fucking harmonica. Despite all this bullshit, Lair is cool. Uh, yeah, let's buy another wing since I used it. Just in case I... No. Well, no, the wing is useless at this point. Yeah, no, I may as well... S I don't think there's any use for all this gold I've accumulated now. But, um, at this point, we cruise up. Now we have her read the next volume. And that will lead us to the Mega Dungeon of East One. So this is really only like half of East One, in my opinion. Um, but this is where it really starts to kick off. 
Next, you have to find the Silmarillion, right? Now you have three, four volumes of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so in total, there are six books of East. Three are outside Darm Tower, and three are inside Darm Tower. Yep. This is where we need to go. Speak with Java. Please read it. And now we need Volume Toba. One day, a wave of terrible violence came upon East, and our lives were ripped apart. Yeah, that's that's all that even said. It's like, really? The remaining books must be in Darm Tower. That place is a festering nest of evil. <laughs> that's putting a, that's an understatement. You may ask my son Goban to help you get to the tower's entrance. I can see that you are well built and smart. I think you will be okay. That's this point. That unlocks Darm Tower. So now we could go get that started. I'm actually gonna go into Darm Tower, and we're we're not gonna really do Darm Tower because we just don't have enough time to do that tonight. But we are gonna at least go into it and kind of give you a, a little bit of a taste for what's to come next time. This is good shit. I think we got everything. But in the event that I'm wrong, we're gonna do a different save because we do get to a point of no return. Because once you go into Darm Tower, you can't actually leave. Because one of the one of the smart things people did is they sealed the tower so that once you go in there, you can't get the fuck out. Um, and we, but the reason they sealed it is so all the monsters inside it can't can't get out. <laughs> you have up to Children of Dune. Yeah, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so we're here, and we'll just save from two from now on. Here's Do Here's where oh, Gobot is. I've heard about your bravery. You're going to Darm Tower to find the book, aren't you? The locals here call it the Tower of Death. You can imagine why. The door only opens from one direction, so none of the gruesome creatures inside can creep out. Once you go in there, you'll never be able to get back out. If you are really as brave as they say you are, then the entrance to the tower is at the back of this house. Good luck. You'll need it. Yep, one-way trip. One out of 25. <laughs> and thus we find ourselves in Darm Tower. And the reason I saved did it as a different save is God forbid we forgot something, we we would be fucked. We would be totally and completely fucked. I love this music though. This is one of my all-time favorite fucking OSTs. Our uh, this is one of my favorite dungeon themes of all time. After 25 floors of it, we're gonna be over it, but you know, that'll take a while. For now, it's awesome. Uh, right, this leads to third floor. This leads to the second. Right? It's it's such a wonderful soundtrack. Especially for 1990, are you like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, look at this, assholes. random. Just in case you didn't have these things. Okay, fair enough. Well, that was, that was very optional. And of course, the tower being a circle, we're just on a balcony on the outside. And we just have to walk our way around. 
And a lot of times that's how we change levels. We go. Yeah, if I if I'd managed to get past the stupid bat thing faster, probably would have decided to go up the tower a little bit more. But um I think I know exactly what a good spot is going to be to uh to stop here. We're going to do a little bit of Darm Tower actually. Now, look at that. We know what that looks like. Of course, all these fucking goons out here. Bastard. Oh, God. Stop it! Oops, shit. I accidentally switched... <laughs> I accidentally switched focus here. Inventory, we need the Mask of Eyes. Hit the wrong button there. Helps if I hit the right button. I don't think there's anything in here yet. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Who are you? Did Colin send you? Well, if you don't know Colin, then I don't want to know you. I'm sorry, but I just don't have time to talk now. I've lost my eagle idol. Well, gee, thanks, dude. So you're not going to talk to me if uh, you don't know me, huh? Or you don't know if I don't know some dude. All right, fine. All right. It's fine. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Try and get out of here. So here's the cool part, even without the heal ring, when we're out here, we're technically outside. And we uh, we heal automatically. I don't have to switch out the uh, to the heal ring. That's pretty nice. So we're already... Yeah, we're already on 4F. We'll scale a couple of floors. Treasure chest is not perfect. Good. Nothing like a sick guitar solo in a 1990 fucking RPG. What else this way? I don't remember which way I want to go. And some fair through all all this bullshit, I gotta find three books of ease. Here's the good spot. Sudden flash and you feel yourself being transported. You regain your senses and find yourself in a prison. Adol is shocked when he checks his belongings and finds that some are missing. Yeah, the silver equipment is now gone. Now I'm stuck with this katana. A shitty small... Oh, I should have bought the better shield. Oh, well. So my shield now sucks. My, uh, at least I have the reflex armor. And we just got a nice bit of downgrading. So that obviously sucks. So our, uh, our equipment blows. Whoops. That's not what I want to do just yet. Who are you? Hello. I'm Luda Gemma. Not long ago, I was walking through the many corridors of this tower. As I turned a corner, I came across a long hall with many stone statues lining its walls. Suddenly, an old man appeared in front of me. As our eyes met, he panicked and disappeared into the wall. Soon after, I was caught by the goons. So there's the lady's husband, Luda. So this guy is stuck in here with us. Now, interestingly, he says his name is Luda Gemma. Okay, it's not this. But uh, Gemma is one of the six priests of East. So that name becomes important later. So we're just gonna... I don't remember exactly what I need to do here. Oh, right, I can't read it.
Hello. Oh, I'm just going to say the same thing. Not long ago, I was walking through the many corridors of this tower. As I turned a corner, Damn it. I came across a long hall with many stone statues lining its walls. Suddenly, That's obviously the statue we used, the, 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 the statue corridors where we used the mask of eyes. And disappeared into the wall. Soon after, so if we didn't already see the, the hole in the wall, you know, that's the in-game clue that you need to go in there and talk to that dude. But, um, yeah, how do I get out of here? I actually don't remember how we get out of here. That's not it. There we go. Oops. Hey there, young man. I'm here to help you. And of course, it's fucking invisible because I, because I activated the mask of eyes. But uh, Doki just bashed down the wall. Fuck! My name is Colin. His name's Doki. Evil lurks behind every corner, so be alert at all times. I know an old man named Rasta. He could tell you the secrets of this tower. Allow me to ask a favor of you. Please bring this to Rasta. He's been searching all over for it. You should take the young guy in the corner with you. This is no place to hang out. All right, so once I turn off the mask of eyes, we'll actually see what's going on. I just needed to walk, walk around. I forgot I just need to be patient. There we go. So there's Dogie. Yep, gargoyle statues. So this ends up being a good spot. So Dogie bashes on the fucking wall. Instead of just doing something with the gate or anything, like any normal person, and that's where we are. And so we are now back into the basement of Darm Tower. And this is where we will save and do the rest of this shit. While we try to recover uh, the equipment that we lost. So that's a, that is a perfect stopping point. I did save. Yes, let's just, yeah, I did save. Cool. Marvelous. And we even ended it right at the track. That was perfect. Well, let's see if anybody's up. I'm still kind of awake, but I just, I, that, was, that was a good stopping point before we really delved even, well, higher up Darm Tower because we've, we've got 25 floors of that. But, uh, all right, so based on the progress I'm making after 30 fucking years of playing this game, um, thankfully, it does seem like most of it is coming back to me. Um, at least most of it. So I want to say that we should finish East 1 uh, the next time I play this. And we'll see. I'm not really sure uh, if next time. Perfect. Like, we're, I'm literally shutting down. So that's a perfect time, Phoenix. Have a good one, dude. And uh, tell the Wi-Fi I said hello. And uh, I'm just looking to see if we're going to raid out to anybody here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Maxie's on. Let's, let's, let's raid out to Maxie. He's playing some Overwatch. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, we'll, we'll do that as I get this, uh, get this show started here. Let's, uh, let's do that. Good night, man. And, uh, as it goes, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. we're going to raid. We're going to raid Maxi. Yep. We are going to raid Maxi. Um, so I want to thank everybody for coming out. This was fun. This was a great nostalgia trip. Oh my God. Um, yeah, even when we were having a little bit of trouble with the fucking bat monster, uh, that was still, I, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it was, it was actually kind of fun. Um, that one's a little frustrating because you only have such a limited window. You have to get in and you have to really get out. And it, it really does require really precise timing, which is not always the necessarily the easiest thing on, on a game console that's emulated only on a D-pad and you don't really even have like a eight-way directional controller. You only have four directions you can really go. Um, yeah, I remember that one giving me giving me trouble. I don't think we're going to have nearly that kind of trouble, uh, knock on wood. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing myself on any of the other monsters, uh, any of the other bosses. So, we'll see. Next time I, I stream will probably either be Tuesday or Thursday, and we'll see if it's going to be Battletech or East. Uh, maybe I'll put out a couple of feelers and see if anybody has any preferences uh, over Battletech or East. At this point, anything I start playing that's not Battletech or East, I'm going to, I'm going to just work on completing it and we'll just go from there. So without any further ado, I'm going to invade, uh, Maxi's stream and 
everybody, I hope you had a great weekend and may you all have a wonderful week. Until the next time, ciao.